persona! And with that, we are live. What's going on, everybody? Uh, Real Cookie's gonna do invites here, so give me one second, ladies and gents. All right, with that, we'll say hello to everyone that I currently see here at this time. Uh, hello to Edge, hello to Grady, and hello to Red13. Yes. How is everybody doing this evening? All right, so yes, uh, with that being said, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of The Gaming Beatdown here today. On January 21st, 2023, as we are here, continuing more of game number 232 here for Let's Play Nights. As we are here with, uh, the, uh, our, also our second game, I guess I could say, uh, for season number 12 for Let's Play Nights. And it is also the sequel to, uh, our 220th playthrough here on the channel. Uh, and this is, uh, day number 13 in our 
first playthrough of this game ever, and our second game in this series, like I said. And this is with The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. That's right. Uh, last time, uh, we pretty much uh, started up the story for the final chapter, I guess, or finale chapter of the game. Uh, we basically uh, did one little, uh, I guess, little mini dungeon, I guess, technically, where we uh, fought a boss and uh, did that and whatnot, and that was pretty fun. And then we uh, uh, entered the final true, true dungeon in the game, or at least for the story mode at least, and it's the Infernal Castle. Uh, we actually made a pretty big dent into it, actually. Uh, most of the cast was in the, basically that castle in particular, so yeah. Uh, I believe we took down three of the fights so far out of the four. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what we've, we've done so far. Um, and we've made it to, I, I think, the final door in the game, basically. So all that's left is really is just the finale for the game's main story, basically. So, yeah, uh, we will be probably finishing up the main story here today and then beginning the epilogue portion of the game because there's still a little bit right after this game's main story when it ends so and we will definitely go through that because why not right it's not very long to go through so we might as well do that so um we won't be finishing the game here today i if we do make good progress today um next stream for sure probably will be the finale night for the game maybe i'm going to take a prediction i could be entirely wrong on that but it just again it just depends how this goes so yeah because what i'm told here is that uh, for this uh, last little bit, we have like five boss fights in a row to do. Uh, at least that's what it says on the guide here, and that's kind of ridiculous to see. But um, yeah, and, I'm, and also I'm told that it is pretty tough too. So uh, I could take a few attempts to maybe do it. So we'll see how this uh, we'll see how this goes exactly. Because I um, I'm not sure because we are I'd say pretty good level and whatnot. But uh, hopefully things uh, RNG wise and stuff go well for this uh, last little bit here because hopefully we don't get stuck too much or too long on stuff because uh, I'd like to go through a lot of stuff here today because this uh, game has a um, has two epilogues in it right so I definitely would like to definitely uh, get at least one of them done at least and then get started with the next one after that so we'll see um, but yeah so today we're going to continue um, Six more hours of Trails of Cold Steel 2. We will be finishing the main plot of the game. And then basically we will be uh, starting the epilogue and trying to get down the first of two epilogues. And that will be that. So yeah, so yeah, that's going to be definitely the plan uh, for the stream today. So it is going to be definitely heavy uh, story stuff. So um, yeah, so if you're watching this or uh, joining us for the very first time, uh, definitely spoiler alert, by the way, if you haven't uh, gotten this far. Uh, for those of you who've are been watching this on YouTube, well, I mean, why are you watching this as my first uh, stream for this game? Um, there are 12 other uh, parts for this playthrough as well, so make sure to go check that out. But uh, yeah, just yeah, it's just going to be basically heavy, heavy story stuff, um, which is uh, all you need to really know. So yeah, and yes, we do get to beat up Crow today. Yes, that's that. That's who we're going after right here. Yes, that's the fight we. Uh, are about to go and do to start off today, so that's pretty exciting. So yeah, try to put some knock some sense into him. <laughs> yes, yes. But yeah, with that being said, we are good to go. So let's uh, dive in, shall we? Let's continue on, shall we? With the uh, trails of Cold Steel Two. Yes, we uh, are at the first floor. Um, the reason for that is because I at the end of the last cast, I kind of need to get CP and stuff for all my hmm. party members currently that I'm currently using, so I went and got CP in that. So, as you can see here, everybody has full CP, which is great. So, we are we are good. Everyone's at full CP, so we we'll don't have to worry about uh, having to grind for CP before the boss fight. So, I made sure to uh, to do that before we uh, ended up um, before we ended up doing the actual uh, boss fights here, because uh, I feel like having a full CP meter would be uh, kind of a good thing. So, um, that's the reason why we stopped right before that, because I also felt like, uh, continuing it after, uh, where we were at last stream just would take another four hours, and I didn't want to step too long, uh, to have to sit through all that, right? So, I think it was best to just, uh, leave it for the start of this stream here, so, yeah. Um, but just to showcase what we're at right now, um, here's what we're looking like right now. Reen is at level 130, and this is move set currently right here, so pretty much as high we're probably gonna get him in this game. 
Uh, Alisa is also at level 130 as well. Um, I don't believe she got anything new for safe her moves last time. Uh, so nothing new there. Um, Laura at 130, I believe she got Radiant Spin, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I, that could have been the stream before that too, so I, I, I can't remember exactly. Somebody I remember did get a move, I'm just trying to remember who it was. Uh, Fee uh, is also level, level 130 as well, so there she is right there. Uh, Elliot's 129, basically we'll level up pretty soon to 130, basically, so there's that. Uh, Emma's at 130, actually, you know what, I think it was, I think it was Emma that got the move, yeah, she got Astrid Flare 2 last time, so. I believe that's all of her moves, maybe, I feel, unless we're still missing moves, but I'm pretty sure we've learned every move for my main party, at least, so, yeah. Uh, Milliam at level 129, and, uh, yeah, nothing really new there for her either, so, that's all good there. Maki is at level 113, again, we haven't really used them as much, so there's that. Yusa, same thing, not really used them, 108. Gaia, same thing, 108. Sarah at level 111, so, yeah, I haven't really used her as much either, so. That's kind of been my uh, my party uh, for uh, the game, just to let everybody know. As for links, I know it doesn't really matter as much, but this is uh, kind of what the links are looking like right now. So, Milliam and uh, Fee are pretty close to both getting to like their next levels here, but I doubt we'll even uh, reach that at all. So, but that is okay. Okay. Um, here's everybody else in case you're curious, because I know some people would be very curious on that. So, I will showcase all that loveliness. Yes, and yes, and yes, so there we go. So, yeah, that's basically that. Uh, before we start, I just want to make sure everything is good for my moose, and, or my quartz and stuff before we get underway. Also, what's up, Angel? Is When is Crow dying? Pretty soon here, actually. And what's up, uh, Volano as well? And hello, Caster Lady. How's Trails? Good, we're about to go do a five boss fight gauntlet because we're, about, we're, at, we're at the end of the main story here. So, this is pretty much almost over here. Well, not playthrough-wise, we still have to do an epilogue after this. Uh, but the main story is almost done, basically. Um, Alright, so let me just uh, make sure everything is good here. So I'm going to go magical here. Uh, Laura should be fine. Um, I did see that apparently this... I, I, I kind of looked at a guide and they said something about using Adamite Shield with somebody. So maybe we should probably put that on somebody as well. So we may have to look into that. Uh, magical for Emma here. Uh, we will, uh, remove all of this, uh, magical, there we go, um, uh, remove that, and go physical here, so, yeah, um, so I think we're good, uh, I will remove everything else from everybody else I'm not really using here, so, just to have, uh, a bunch of stuff here, because we kind of want our best, uh, stuff, basically, so I'm gonna quickly, uh, make sure everything is good here. Not gonna touch my uh, Laura or um, Green builds because I think uh, we're good with what we got there. Uh, same thing goes with uh, V, but unless, let's see. I will put two evasions back on her, but I just wanna see uh, for a second here. Holy breath in that. Okay, I'm gonna actually. Uh, gonna get rid of. Uh, let's see. Gonna get rid of action one. Put a uh, put uh, what is it? It's uh, evade two and one. Do that, and then I'm gonna get rid of um, I'm gonna get rid of uh, breath R. I think yeah. we already have three breath, so we will put uh, that, and then where's where's the evade one? There it is. Um, and then there was something else I had to put on, right? What was the other thing for it uh, that gives her the uh, hundred percent? Evasion. There was something else that I had to put on. I don't remember what it was. Because she's at 895 now. I had I had it at 100 percent I just wanted to make sure everyone's at best stuff they can have on, basically. I'll get it for you. Cool, cool. While while you're loading that, I'm gonna look at that other stuff for a second here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I think uh, Laura's as good as it's gonna get. Um. Elisa, we will uh, we'll put on um, magical here, okay, and then we will remove that, and then we'll go physical. Oh, perfect. Oh, added my shield on uh, 
Green will be huge, actually. That's good. Uh, Shining R. Thank you. That's what it was. Okay. Um, and that was... What was that again? That was... Was that, was that silver or was that... Oh, Shining right here. Yeah, yeah. It's a gold one. Let's make sure here. Did I put that on anybody else? No? Hold on. Maybe maybe it's at the bottom here. Hold on. Let me make sure of that. Uh, what can I get rid of here, honestly? Uh, Supreme Gem. Chrono Burst. Uh. This she's not really need. What's her speed at? 164. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fast. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Uh, let's see, where is that? So, Shining R. Oh, right here, perfect. There it is, right there. There it is, right there. I bet our accuracy goes up too, so that's kind of huge, actually. So, yeah. Um, yeah, her speed's still pretty good there, so we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Do we have an attack 3 for Reen, actually? Let's make sure right here. Because if not, we can make one, probably. Yeah, I don't think we have one. Let's make that real quickly here for... For, for our guy, Reen Schwarzer here, shall we? Um, that is under this, right? Yes. Quartz, where's uh, attack 3 there? Yeah, we're going to make one of those. Put that on Reen instead. Uh, because there's no point for having him having attack 2. We'll do that. Um, make sure everything else is fine here. Shield 2. If there's a shield 3, we'll get that. HP 3. Oh, actually, let's get another attack 3 real quickly. That will be for Milium here. Make sure that's fine. Uh, defenses. I think there's defense two, if I'm correct. Or defense three, I, I believe. So I'm going to grab a few of those. Okay. Um, we need to put that on Re. Well, actually, no, he's got one already. Okay, so that's fine. Can you put two defense threes on? I'm curious. No, you can't. Okay. You cannot do that. Alright, well, then we'll put. Uh, oh, she's already got one on. Okay. Um, is there something else we can put on her, maybe? Shield Breaker. Um. Hmm. I feel like maybe. Nah, I think we'll keep that on. Uh, okay, what else can we do here? HP. Is there better HP ones? Or is HP 2 the best we can get for that? HP 2 is the best, okay. There's Shield 3. I don't know if anyone needs Shield 3. Uh, make sure here. Oh, Emma does. Yeah, let's get, let's get her a Shield 3 here. She definitely needs one of those. Um, Orbinates. Okay, um... Isn't there... I believe there's, a, there's EP3, right? Oh, I didn't mean to rest. Oopsie. I did not mean to rest. That's my bad. But, hey, doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> okay, uh... EP3. Nope, there is no EP3. There's mine three, but I don't remember. I don't know if anyone's got that on right now. I think they do. Mine three, sure. Um, oh, we need a mine three for Elliot. And we need a mine three for Emma as well. So, two mine threes we need to make. Okay, so let's make that real quickly. Uh, mine three. We will put that on both of them. 
Uh, where are you? There you are. Perfect. And then mine three. Okay. Um, I don't think anything else is really needed after that. But... Pretty sure we're good after that. I think, yeah. I don't see much else after that. Yeah, I think we're good after that. Um, how about for like armor and that? Is there anything new when it comes to that at all? I don't think so. Pretty sure we are we are good when it comes to that. Yeah, much else after that. Not see much after that. Uh oh, don't see much there. Um, can I exchange my Mira or my Master quickly? Might as well. I you know it doesn't really matter, but I'll do it anyway. Get money. Um let's see. Nope, really do after that really. I think we might be good, unless let's see. Anything else we could really make here that would be needed? Shield three. No, I don't think so. Don't think we really need much else after that. Ah, uh, insta. Let's see. Speed three, HP three. There you are. Okay. Um, you make sure everyone has quartz in their slots. Oh, like everybody, like even the people not in my party. Oh, am I gonna have to be using everybody else too? Ooh, that's okay. That that that. See, okay. So I got to use everybody else. But all right. Well, that that I was not ready. Didn't know. Okay. So all right. Um. Let's see, I guess you can be physical. Um. You can be. I think you're magic, right? Something like that. You're. All right. You're definitely speed. And then you are. Are you speed as well? Or are you physical? I can't tell. You look like you're... You are more physical, so let's go with that. Yeah. Let's go with that. Um... It's okay. Um, I'll look into their equipment here, see if they need anything here. Um... Oh, she does, okay. Um... Phantom Thief's Cape. Uh, what's this here? Uh, accuracy. Um, that. You know what? I'm gonna try to make her accuracy like 100% so she hits everything. There we go. Make it so she, uh, hits pretty perfect. Then, if I have to use them, then I'm gonna buy their weapons. Then, okay, that might be what I do. Then, actually, now that I, now that I know that now, we have the cash for it anyway, so it is fine. will be okay uh, with that, but we will see. Um, right, okay. So, we are going to warp to the end of the highest area here. Alright, I think we should be okay. I hope, I don't know, but uh, we will see. All I know is that I'm told that this is very hard, so this is going to be fun. Alright, uh, it's this door right here. Perfect, yeah, let's save right here. Just. Just have to run all the way back up again. Alright, well. Make sure one more time that we're good. I think we should be okay. Yeah, 
I guess we can't look right there. So I think it's fine. But all right, it's time. Let's beat the main story of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go do it. <laughs> We're going in. Let's do this. I shall save right here. All right, perfect. Let's go. This is it. The elevator that leads to the Vermilion Throne. Crow and Vita are there. I'll have to call the others, too. I should make sure each and every one of us are well prepared before this hurts. Are we ready? Let's go. How big's the epilogue? It'll probably take another. I'll probably take another stream. Oh, did I, did I say no? I'll call the other side. Because there's two epilogues, not just one. That's why. Why do we get I, I, like this whole area? Just reminds me of Tartarus. We're going to the top. Is Nick's gonna be up there? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it also does remind me of like uh, uh, Breath of the Wild's uh, Hyrule Castle <laughs> as well. Or Ganon's Castle. Oh, there they are. Hello, it's me! <laughs> I've been waiting for you! <laughs> I have been waiting for you, too. <laughs> and they also get, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts vibes in this room, too. He really came. Welcome, all, to our tale's grand finale. We are here, Crow. Hard to believe it's been less than three weeks since we last met. <laughs> You're telling me. You all look so grown up now. All those ordeals you put yourself through have paid off in spades. That's certainly one way to look at it. As much as I hate to admit it, I doubt we could win against you otherwise. The trials we faced brought us together and made us stronger. The trials? Oh, uh, roll credits. I couldn't be more pleased with what we had to do to come this far. I was finally able to move forward, too. So yeah, I like to think I grew up a bit. <laughs> a lot of stuff's changed, but you guys ain't one of them. And that's not all. We're here on behalf of Toa, Angelica, and George, too. I promised them I'd bring you back and force you to graduate with them. And it's a promise I intend to keep. Oh, man, give me a break. Mm. You're telling me you've done all that and it still hasn't dawned on you. Get it through your thick skull. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's not true, Crow. Those who are confronted with impossible odds can choose to react in one of two ways. Abandon hope and accept a pitiful fate. Or cling to that hope and forge ahead. Overcoming any and all that life throws their way. That's what it means to dream. <laughs> Vida. She's absolutely right. Maybe we are just young and naive. But if anything, I feel that it was our youth and naivete that allowed us to come this far to begin with. And we've done it without losing a single member along the way, carrying the hopes of everyone we've met with us. I'd say that's pretty amazing, wouldn't you? I'd say it's freaking amazing. And for that, I don't see any harm in dreaming of the tomorrow that we all want to come. No one can say that the chances of it happening are zero, after all. <sighs> and all things considered, I'm in something of a difficult position as well. So I sincerely hope you don't think yourself some special snowflake compared to the rest of us. Join the club. My background's all weird, too. Mm. So spit it out. Tell us what you really want. You can deal with all the crappy stuff later. Honestly. <laughs> you may have joined the Academy to stop people from working out your true identity, sure. But you made a big mistake by letting yourself get wrapped up with a bunch of softies like Class 7. 
Yeah, no kidding. You guys would haunt me to the ends of the earth, wouldn't you? Yes, we'll be like Spider-Man to Shocker. <laughs> Shocker! Or, or in this girl, case, case, Crow! I'll chase you to the ends of the earth! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, there's a douche. My, what a touching spectacle. You work tirelessly to pursue the impossible together. You lose yourself in the passion of the moment. Innocence truly is the privilege of the young. Duke Cayenne. Oh, that's His Highness the Crown Prince. He's been blindfolded. Have you no shame? And what's that huge red thing behind him? That's the Vermilion Knight, Testarossa. Oh. It was sealed away under the capital a long time ago, and it was responsible for countless calamities. It's often referred to as the demon which wields a thousand weapons. And to expand on what Emma said, the ones who supposedly sealed it away were Trichels the Lionheart and the Lance Maiden. <laughs> it certainly was. And the only ones capable of rousing it from its slumber are descendants of the Armor Bloodline. Thus, why His Highness has so graciously chosen to cooperate with us. <sighs> Duke Cayenne. Surely you realize how utterly disrespectful you are being. I have a little dream of my own, see? A dream my ancestor was unable to reach in his lifetime. One that I will make a reality in his place. A dream? What ancestor? Wait, was this ancestor alive during the War of the Lions? Precisely, Emperor Orthros Rysae Arnold, born to the first of the Emperor's secondary wives, the daughter of a duke. He occupied Heimdall at the time of the War of the Lions, but fell to Trichels and became known as the False Emperor. And I inherit his blood. Possible. I had no idea that the Cayenne family were descendants of the False Emperor. <laughs> Hardly a surprise. When the war came to a close, that truth was buried. I suppose it was Emperor Dragel's way of trying to avoid any further conflict among the nobles. But not a day, not one day in all these years has my family forgotten the sheer humiliation. And so I dreamed of a future where I would take back the Vermilion Knight and this infernal castle. The proofs of ownership over this city that Emperor Orthros had disgracefully stripped away. <gasps> that's all? You occupied Heimdall and started a civil war, and that's your reason? That's fucked. Well, the Chancellor's death was desirable regardless, and the Society's diva provided invaluable assistance. The Imperial Liberation Front proved to be serviceable pawns. The Azure Awakener managed to awaken his knight. The time was right in all regards. Only a fool would idly watch this moment pass. I did intend to operate the Vermilion Knight myself, but as I feared, only those of direct descent are capable of doing so. And yet it matters not. I have everything I need to return this city to its original, rightful form as His Highness's guardian. Once my will is done, I shall restore order to Erebonia, returning it to the way it once was and always should have been. That is my ambition. My family's destiny. What nonsense. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. I'm afraid I can't even pretend to care about your ambitions. It's not my place to decide how Erebonia should be run, and I'm not here to lecture you on your ancestors' transgressions. Oh? We have our own ambitions. We're here because we promised Princess Alvin and Prince Oliver that we would rescue their brother from your clutches. 
And if putting a stop to your dream is what it takes to save His Highness the Crown Prince, then that's exactly what we'll do. You impudent little... <sighs> I think everyone has said their piece now. You won't be going back on your word to let us handle this part, right? Huh. <laughs> do as you wish. It should provide some light entertainment until the ritual is complete. I expect to be amused. We could skip right to using our knights, but might as well savor the moment while we still can, right? So for the opening act, I'll fight you as I am now. Crow versus Class 7. Crow. <laughs> Very well. And I'll be fighting alongside him. Seeing as how you have the famed purple lightning with you, it wouldn't be much of a fair fight otherwise. Aw, oh, you flatter me. <laughs> Sadly, I trust your idea of a fair fight about as much as I trust me missing a point-blank shot. <laughs> oh, do excuse me. Emma, I want you to fight with everything you have. We'll see whether you have the resolve necessary to shoulder a witch's burden. Don't worry, I will. Not because of the duty I've been given, but to demonstrate the limitless potential I've found within myself. As the last remaining member and leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, I'm gonna make our very last fight one to remember. And as the one tasked with guiding you to the end, I think it's time I did just that. A combat link? Oh boy. They can do that? I, I'm sure, why not? <laughs> it makes no difference to us. Class 7, ready yourselves. Because combat link or not, I know we'll triumph. Right! right. All right. This is it. Come at me with all you've got. Witness the witchcraft of the Azure Abyss. My turn. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right. Also, what's up? Uh, keep the go, by the way. All right. Uh, let's go with uh, this here. One, two. And that's it. Let's resist to that. Okay. How about this? Onward. Okay. Um. Hold on a second here. Let's uh. Oh, we are like okay, cool, perfect. It's going a little better than last night. How's it going? It's going. It's going. <laughs> All right, let's start off with um, radiant wings here. All right, and then we're also going to do uh, the following. We are gonna go spirit unification here with Reem. All right. Perfect. Here we go. And then, uh, let's see. Let's go after these two, I guess. Now's our chance. Let's go, everyone. All right. Let's start off with that. Oh, damn. Those actually have a lot more than I was expecting. Okay. Um. And I'll do this. Yeah. Get that ultimate. Holy fuck! <laughs> God damn! What a what a fucking shot! <laughs> God damn! All right. Uh, I'm going after her first because she might try to heal and such. Alright, we're also going to throw down a Heavenly Gift right here. Rain upon us. Okay. My turn. Let's move. Here goes. Overdrive. Alright. Do it again. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go with... Uh... Burn to ash. Fall. Nice. Now's our chance. An opening. 
My, I'm impressed. Onward. Okay. Um, uh, we're gonna go with the spin. No escape. Okay. <laughs> now I'm having fun. He's My having turn. fun. All right, that's good. Burn to ash. Fall. Now's our chance. An opening. Oh, that's it for uh, spirit unification. All right. My turn. All right. Uh. Just in case, because they might ult. Hit him with the I am the storm that is approaching. <laughs> yeah. Yes, let's nice. fucking go. <laughs> All right. Uh. Start off with this. And a million here, maybe. I hit them with my freaking ult. I don't trust them because they might, they might throw one out out of nowhere here. <laughs> hit him with the nuke. Okay. Onward. Witness the fruits of my training. Radiant Lion. Nice. There goes Vita. She's down. Perfect. Okay. That's actually kind of huge. All right. Let's see. Wild oh, card. This is Death. Uh oh. Well, that's cool. I guess. All right. I can't get in there. Okay. Um. Here I go. You know what that means, then, chat? You just do this. Or actually, you just do this. Huh. You have my face. Witness the fruits of my training. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Radiant Lion. Mm. Good. 
And we win! <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Easy. Evil will fall before my blade. That was a smackdown right there. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright. Damn, look at all that XP. Millions of 130 now. Very nice. I think Alex gonna hit 130. Oh, 131 actually. Damn! All right, he double leveled up there. Nice. Great, great. 132 for Reen. So 132 glad. for Lisa. 132 <laughs> for Laura. 132 for Fee. 131 for Elliot. So 132 for uh, Emma. <laughs> Look and 132 for Milliam. Very nice. Very good. Oh my, I didn't see this coming. <sighs> what I tell you, don't underestimate my classmates. They're a tough crowd for being all dreams and sunshine. <laughs> so they are. Crow. Vita. Ah, enough of this nonsense. I need not remind you how if you were to lose against them, our contract would butt out you. Ooh. I beg your pardon? All right, let's wrap this up. This is it, Rin. You ready for the finale? Ready? I was waiting on you. Heed my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Oh, we're gonna have our mech battle now. All right, here we go. <laughs> Waiting on the first floor. He's like, okay, I guess I'll fly all the way to the top. You're telling me he doesn't have to go through the whole dungeon himself? <laughs> that was a long dungeon to get through. Between awakeners, none should interfere. She's right. All we can do is watch. <sighs> it's frustrating to be unable to help. If we must, we'll just have to put our trust in Reen. Is that the sword you forged from Zemirian ore? Pretty impressive. Guess I don't have to hold back anymore. <sighs> hmm? What, you getting cold feet or something? I think I am. Regardless of whether I win or I lose, this is the end. And I can't help but get this nagging feeling like things will never be the same between us after this. It was never the same after he stole my Mira. <laughs> I think that's what I'm afraid of. Don't act so spoiled! The future you want is only gonna happen by making the most of the present. Whatever happened to dragging me back to the Academy and forcing me to graduate? <sighs> You're right. This time, I'm not going to hold back. This isn't a fight for this nation's future. It's got nothing to do with our classmates. This is a fight for me. Right now, all that matters to me is surpassing you. <laughs> I wouldn't have any other way. Divine Knights are all about power, pure and simple. You shouldn't have to think about your feelings. They should just be a part of you. And just as a blacksmith pours his soul into forging a stronger sword, you should use those feelings to strengthen your resolve. Okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. 
This is going to be our final battle. That's exactly how I want it to be. We'll fight until we can fight no more. Until our strength runs dry and our souls burn out! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Power levels! <laughs> Alright. Already going for that, hey? That's crazy. All right. Uh, let's see. He's got his head, he's got the arm, and he's got the body. I think maybe we'll try the arm first. Yo! Let's fucking go. All right. That's huge, actually. What is this, Dragon Ball? Could be. A, a Gundam, actually. Yeah, yeah. Gundam. Uh, I'm going to throw down a blessed arrow here. And get CP recovery. Alright. Um, can you going for the arm? Ooh, he guarded me. Ooh, okay. Ooh, damn, okay. I can do this. Okay, okay. Um What was up, light yeah, going? Kill Crow. Do we dare live the dream? I hope so. I hope this is the time. <laughs> Hit him with the toast. Alright. Bring it on! I'm gonna hit him with a morning moon. You won't see this coming. Gotcha. Alright. Nice dodge again. Here's another counter. All right. Okay, so it's not his arm when he does this. So maybe his head. Yo, let's go. There it is. Nice. All right. Right. Okay. Um. Continue with uh, another blessed arrow here. Be getting my CP up. This game app is apparently they're going common rider. Oh really? Oh shit! You gotta follow up on me. How dare you? All right, I can hit you with the body. Oh, he guarded me, son of a bitch! All right. Okay, we learned that uh, attacking the head's the way to go. Oh, he didn't actually do anything there. No problem. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use this. Spear it up. Very nice. Flash. Ow. Okay. I sure can watch this. You ready for this? Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 All right, nice. Okay, and now we're gonna charge. Get our mana back up. Very nice. Yeah, apparently based on the screenshots, it's some kind of common rider thing. That's kind of sick. Common rider is pretty cool. Ooh, Let's nice. Go. Not gonna use a finisher just yet. Too soon. Too soon. It's working. Keep it up. Are, am I Akihiko? Maybe, but minus the protein. And another one! Alright, and a follow-up attack right there. Yeah! Nice. Oh. Alright, time to get serious. Serious? You weren't serious this before? Done. Oh shit! He grew wings! This again. Oh that's right, he did do that, didn't he? What's happening? What's the word? Uh, wait. See? I knew you could do it. My sword. And now that we're even, let's settle this. Alright. We can do this now because. Because. 
I have the power! No problem. Alright. Anyways, uh, let's hit him with, uh... I'll go with, uh, I'll go with Blast Arrow here. Keep my CP up. We're at 200% CP. Criminal Edge with purple. Oh, damn! That's a lot of damage. Alright. Oh, I'm ready. Ready for this? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Gonna hit you with a Pokemon Unite! Oh, now it's on fire! Oh. <laughs> Damn, holy! I did 100,000k damage! <laughs> holy crap, that's crazy. You do a lot of damage with that. All right. Heat it up. Ooh, all right, nice. Oh, I can handle this. Ready for it? I'll do it again. Want to see me do it again? Hee Alright. No problem. Now we're just gonna Allow heal up me. here. Alright. Bring it on. Eat this. Big dodge counter. Let's go. Give him a little follow up. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> right. All right. Oh, in the meantime, um, I will throw down blessed arrow again. There we go. Darkness. Chaos saber. What the hell is this? Whoa! He dodged it. Ooh! We get him a little out of that. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm ready for that actually. Um, so we're gonna defend. Bring it on. Blade throw. That's smart. Big, big, big brain play right there to block that. No I, I was not ready for that. All right. Charge. There we go. We're gonna need some of that. All right. Uh, we're just gonna go for a regular attack to uh, maybe the body. Okay, not much there. Okay. He's, going, he's going for it again. That means I'm going to use the Morning Moon. Oh, he's going to do it twice. That means I get to dodge him twice. Alright, I'm ready. Do it. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, nice. Okay. Oh, you're going for it again. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to use Spirit here. Unfortunately, I might have to block this one, unfortunately, because I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't have enough for it. We're just going to defend. On. Just going to defend this one. Yo, nice, yep. Smart, smart. No problem. Uh, I am once again Allow me. going to do this. Okay. Is that all? You can handle this? Uh... Charge that again. I feel like I have to die. I, I feel like I got a block, unfortunately. Darkness. Don't have to CP right now. Yeah, but I'm not sure where to hit him when it comes to that. I have to actually. The arm. No. Nope. 
Not the arm when he does that. Okay, so I'll try a different body part. Uh oh. He gets a S craft in this thing. Where's my S craft? Well, I guess technically my S craft is the counters. Well, that's fair, I guess. Okay. Uh, head. There we go. Um, heal up here. Try. Oh, let's get to again. Never mind. Oh. Okay, so it's not the the head, I don't believe. Uh, or the arm. Sorry, I think I thought I head last time. Uh, I'm gonna try the body. Nope. Maybe you can't can hit him this. when he does that. Hmm. Allow me. Not sure exactly. Darkness. Oh, even blocking? Oh, that guy's- I guess they didn't really block. How's it going? Thought I said ass crap. Oh. Let's go. Gotcha. Huge clutch right there. Perfect. I have enough now. Oh, I'm ready. You ready for this? Unite! Get your ass down, crow! Lost twice in a row here. Better tap out now. No way. Uh, he did it. He won. Yep, I think the victor is clear. The battle goes to Reen. Hell yeah! <laughs> now give me all your Mira! <laughs> but I don't have any! Of course you don't. <laughs> you better owe me all the Mira now <laughs> for me winning. <laughs> yes, he did it! He really won. I'm so happy. Unbelievable! You fought splendidly, Rain. Thank you. <sighs> hey, get a hold of yourself. It's okay. I'm fine. Rain. Hey, guys. Thanks for believing in me. It means a lot. Of course we did. It was pretty nerve-wracking, though. <laughs> I, th I agree, it was. Still, I knew that you would be able to win if you put your heart into it. Indeed. I felt the same way. <laughs> you two were in your own little world, you know. <laughs> True. I don't think we could have interfered even if we wanted to. Where'd you pull all those cheesy lines from, anyway? How inspiring. 
I won't let anyone interfere, and we'll fight until our souls burn out. Hmm? Mm. Have you ever considered, I don't know, reading the atmosphere? <laughs> <laughs> no. Shut up, Machias. Didn't ask. <laughs> Hold this L. Hold this ratio. Didn't ask. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love you kids. <laughs> You should take it easy for now. You've lost quite a lot of mana. Honestly, it's got nothing to do with our classmates, he says. And then what does he do? He goes and pulls off Arcus links with them perfectly mid-battle. Kind of contradicting yourself, don't you think? Mm. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I didn't do it on purpose, though. I just did it unconsciously. I guess all their feelings have become a part of me at this point. My classmates, Balamars, probably even yours, Crow. Oh. Now, isn't that something? Form is emptiness, emptiness is form. You reach the point where you can feel others as a part of yourself. Congrats on getting a glimpse of the true heights of swordsmanship. No, it's a little hard to describe. It was almost as if I was dreaming. I just did it without thinking. I'm not sure I would be able to do the same thing again, to be honest. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, Reen. Well, there's a letdown. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't agree more. Wow. <laughs> oh, well. Seems like you've still got a long way to go before reaching those heights. Much like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Crow? Hey, you don't need to laugh that much. <laughs> I swear, there's no room for debate with you, is there? You beat me. Fair and square. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. <sighs> Sorry about this, Vita. After you did so much for me, I ended up letting you down. <laughs> oh, don't trouble your pretty head over that. True, this wasn't what I had in mind, but I'm perfectly content with happy endings. What? Enough of this! Yeah, don't, we're not, it's not over yet. We forgot about this dickhead in the back there. What is the meaning of this, witch? Do you mean to suggest that is all you intend to do? Oh. I forgot he was there. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we all did. Duke Cayenne? <laughs> yeah, same here. Totally forgot. Mm. From the beginning, the Society's objective was to prepare this stage for its participants. I seem to recall telling you I had no interest in anything other than the battle between Azure and Ashen. Did you forget, perhaps? <sighs> That's all she wanted? Really? Okay. I thought she'd want even more stuff to happen. Vita? But what was the point in this battle to begin? Silence! You will be silent! If that's how you want to be, then I'll simply have to do things my own way! Uh-oh. He can't mean... Wait! Don't do it! Come now, your highness. The time has come to rule with force. Let the ancient honor blood course feverishly through your veins. No! Please! Please! Oh, God! Your highness! You monster! How could you? <laughs> No, it sucked him in. <gasps> what the? Oh God, we've just released Satan.
Vermilion Apocalypse. Oh boy, what a name. No, this can't be. The calamity that appeared 250 years ago, with Testarossa as its core. The Vermilion Apocalypse. Jesus. <laughs> oh, fuck. Master Patrick, stay on guard. It's... it's as if something is being taken away from us. But... Yeah. If that load of good swords are gonna do against whatever this is. Well, don't just stand there. You know some way to deal with this, don't you? D don't look at me! Though I guess this is no time to be feigning ignorance. Hmm. These red spirit veins around us are meant to siphon mana. Focus your energy and stay vigilant, and you should be able to mitigate the effects to some extent. I see. Makes sense. In that case... Everyone, take a deep breath and gather your energy in your abdomen. And stay focused. This isn't over yet. Yes, sir! Just don't breathe in the evil red air. It's bad. Jesus, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Up in the sky there. <laughs> what is that? Vermilion wings? in the surrounding area from above. Right. Courageous. All engines at maximum output. Oh, Adios. Please watch over them. By Adios. Ugh, if only Misty were here. Little do you know. <laughs> huh. This isn't looking good. Y you don't say. It isn't. But the best thing we can do is keep faith. Wait, now you have a voice actor? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know this breaks the immersion a bit, but earlier in the game, she had no voice actress. Now she has one? <laughs> this game is weird. Time to prove themselves has come, it seems. Dear. Everyone, please. Please be safe. You know it's serious when there's opera music? True. True that. <laughs> oh, the vermilion demon lord, the demonic god with a thousand weapons, the absolute ruler given form by Emperor Orthros 250 years ago. <laughs> No, at this 
afraid the protective field isn't going to last much longer. You fool. This was the one thing I forbade you to do. Vita, can you help me make an opening? An opening? With that enhancement technique? Yep, the same one you used on me in that trial three years back. You think it'll work? It's worth a try. Crow? You got something in mind? I think so. Vita and I are gonna try to make an opening so you can get closer. Once we've done that, try and hold out against it as much as you can. You can do that? That's crazy. If you can, please do. We're done for if we don't try something. So I say go for it. Still, it sounds like all that's going to do is delay the inevitable. We're going to need something more decisive to turn the tides in our favor. Of course, the Divine Knights. If you combine their strength, we could actually make it through this thing. Now you think. If we can hold out till they've recovered a good chunk of mana, victory's as good as ours. After that, all we gotta do is separate the core, Crown Prince Cedrickson, from the rest of the body. No sweat! We can do this! Right. Without him, it shouldn't be able to remain in this dimension any longer. Not like we got any better options. Okay, let's go. Vita, Pro, we're counting on you. Leave it to us. We won't disappoint. Grianos, Celine, would you two mind helping? Ugh, fine, if I have to. <laughs> Come on, Celine. No, no time to be sassy. It's the end of the world. <laughs> we don't need this sass from you. <laughs> uh, every member of Class 7 will participate in the final battle. Be certain that everything, everyone is equipped with your finest uh, armaments, including those not in your active party. Uh, your active party's final support character will take part in the fa first phase of battle. Reed will fight in both. Okay, so your fi your party's final support character. Okay. Uh, open camp menu here. Okay. Uh, your final. So that'd be fee then. So I would want to. So I'm guessing the last one would be your um. Your, uh, your, it'd, it'd be the mech fight. Because I, 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 I'm guessing we're using Valamor, for, obviously. So I'm guessing you want to have whoever you're wanting to use with Valamor at, on the last one, then? Is that what they're trying to say? Because what I'm going to guess, so you probably want to put, like, Elisa there, then. Elliot in for the time being. Let me look this up here for a second. I just want, I'm just curious how this is gonna go because I'm not entirely sure now with how they with how they phrase that. See how this goes. Well, well, good thing we can save right here then, which is good. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll save right there then. So does that make me change stuff here, or has it worked? Let's see. Cause I wasn't able to like change my party or whatever here, so. Oh, azure breath, which arises from the abyss. Within his blade and cleave through the vermilion flames. Take this! Take Cross! Ooh. Well, that, now, now you just chance. agitated it. Class 7, let's go! Right! Alright, we go! Watch 
Watch out. This is a tough one. Okay. Okay. We don't have uh, uh, Laura in this. All right. Demonic Sword Predator. Is that what it said? Damn. Okay. And we're on fire. So that's a good start. All right. Uh. All right. Let's do this. Hopefully this won't be like the guy in the first game. I'm told this this fight's hard. So. That's something to be the, to, to look forward to. Hang in there. Oh, I suppose you. I should thank you. Very well. Holy shit! Protect us. That. Damn, okay. Leave this to me. My blade will cleave ignorance and light the way. Let's hope now he's not that one side boss in this game. Yeah, that one monkey thing is stupid. Okay, that was not bad damage, actually. Alright, uh, let's throw down, uh... Let's see, which the heal got this one. Hang in there, everyone! Thanks! Thanks. I don't need your help. I don't need your help. <laughs> Bruh, it's the final boss! Just let him help! <laughs> Physical and arts reflect? What the hell is that? Right. Okay, uh... Let's go with, uh, I don't know, let's go with the last arrow here. Hang in there! I oh, suppose you. I should thank you. My turn. Holy shit. Protect us! That. HP absorb. <laughs> Does he get HP back from that? Probably. Thanks. My turn. I'll go do that just to open up his shield. Kind of, kind of have to. Don't really have much of a choice in the matter. Oh yeah, that's right, I haven't seen this. He rides the horse. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, he runs right into the horse. He's pretty sick, actually. from magic attack as well. Big man. 
Too slow! <laughs> Hang in there! Ooh, thanks. All right. Here I go. Ha! No, you don't. Very well. Treasure sword. Oh, sorry, I'm at platinum. Holy shit! Protect us! <laughs> Okay. Uh, right. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, blessed arrow. Hang in there. So far, so good. Yeah. Thank you. It's going okay. Let's move. Uh, get ah. Yep. Let's get him normally. Leave this to me. Uh, shotgun blast. This one's just for you. Hit him with the big gun. Ooh, big pierce. Now's our chance. Don't mess this up! <laughs> That's enough! <laughs> Don't mess this up! That's enough you. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Nice. My turn! Uh, I shall just get it in here. No problem! Oh, Profiter, I thought that's kind of good for Good. How dare you! <laughs> this is nothing. Holy shit. Protect us! Oh, that actually takes the HP off. You see, I thought it was just CP skills. Oh, I guess it was uh, magic. Okay, that makes sense. Then. Ha! Leave this to me. <laughs> I don't need your help. I can do this. Actually, let's use, uh... Okay. My plane will flee the grits and light the way. Okay, that's good damage. No, you don't. Ooh, damn. Hang in there. Thanks. Might have to use that just because uh, Maki is sleeping at the moment. Whenever crits jump, I gotta use my odds traps, unfortunately. <laughs> in Maki is just throwing so much hate, indeed. What's up, Beth? Sucks. I didn't realize that. Oh shit, that really sucks. I didn't realize I could block that. Okay, apparently you can. That's bullshit. Look! Danger! 
I haven't seen this yet. Or maybe I have. No, 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 I have, I have, I have. Joker's check me is cooler. True. Thousand arms. What's this do? Joker's check me. Uh, this can't be happening. Here I go. Well, they wipe. It wasn't all that yeah. bad though, but that's something to keep an eye on. I appreciate it. I can do this. It kills everyone that. That what it does. I suppose I should thank you. Look like it. Sheesh. Hang in there. Leave this to me. Uh -oh. Is he confused a lot? Of I don't know. Huh. Thanks. Do this. Hey. My turn. Here I go. Oh, I didn't do much. Okay. Here goes. Overdrive. down. Let's move. Uh, My turn. Ha! Now's our chance. Gotcha. Mighty reflect. Okay, so when he does that, having this up is super beneficial. Then. Okay. Gotcha. Let's move. Uh. Taking one hit here, so I'm gonna do that. No, you don't. Hang in there. Thanks. 
curse you! Right! Hang in there, everyone! Thanks! Thanks. I don't need your help. I can do this! That? I appreciate it. Okay. Let's move. Uh, ha! Here I go. Ha! I'll handle this. Holy shit. Protect us! <laughs> Unfortunate. Now's our chance. Gotcha. No problem. Activate. This is too, too hard. Scoopy. Let's move. Yeah. Nice. Huge. <laughs> this is not huge block right there. Machius, please. No problem. Hang in there. How on earth do you miss that, my guy? I Thanks. Appreciate. I suppose I should thank you. Let's move. Ha. Hang in there. Thanks. Someone's poison there. Oh, that's Reed. How dare you! I won't lose to the likes of you. This should do some damage, maybe? Let's see. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay, that was pretty good. Curse you. Very if well. uh, Lisa goes down, it's not the biggest deal because she'll be right back up because she, she hasn't died yet. So it's all good with her. So she she wipes. That's okay. It's not a big deal. Protect us. Just come right back here. And he's gonna take damage for that. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh. 
I'll just do this because she's going down anyway here. So next time when she's back up, we'll uh, we'll throw down that shield thing. Oh, actually, okay. We missed entirely. Ooh, huge. Don't get in my way. Shut up. Take this. Too much damage. It's my turn. Okay. Uh. Hang in there, everyone. Thanks. Here I go. All right, let's do this. I'll handle this. Very well. Holy shit. Protect us! Keep him with doing this, because then it'll help out. Right. Right. Crescent near. Fortune will take it over here. There goes Machius, unfortunately. Too slow. This, this can't be happening. Here I go. But we can quickly run back and throw this off on him. So then he has it on him. I appreciate it. It's not the biggest loss here. What if everyone has it off, that's huge honestly, because then we won't get too badly hurt from that. And again, if Elisa goes down, it's again it's not the worst. No, thing. you don't! Okay, um... I'm gonna take a turn on this, and that's not what I did. Ah! Uh, so what did you attack them? I suppose I should thank you. Very well. Platinum shielding. Protect us! My turn! Slow down there. <laughs> Heal her up here. Might as well. Keep her up. Now we just wait for that crit right there. Good. Hang in there. Thanks. Uh, this isn't. I can do this. Not what we really wanted there. Pip. I suppose I should thank you. Right. Ah. Let's move. Okay. Now's our chance. Him to do his thing. Right. Hit him with the uh, hit him with this, because this will be crit. <laughs> this should be enough damage, I think. Let's see. If not, it would be just slightly a little bit more. Nope, that's it. Perfect. Got him. Alright. Nice. Oh, 
But it's not over yet, Snake! Aw, oh, shit! <laughs> Alright. My secret weapon is here. <laughs> Alright. He's going in, by the way. My turn. Let's go with, uh... Not much of a secret. Well, this thing doesn't know it. First time we've met. <laughs> Alright, not the best start. I was not anticipating him to go and do that, but alright. Holy shit. This could be an issue. That's actually kind of huge. Okay. Uh throw that on Reen. Thanks. Oh, I need to turn this around. Oh moon! Shield us from harm! Here we go. I'm sorry, everyone. That's okay, your sacrifice was in vain. Holy fuck! <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. That was crazy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh oh. So Flora dies, that's okay. That's okay. She got off her crit, so that's what matters at the end of the day. I don't know what these will do. Too slow. 
Maybe this will be enough to get rid of those as well? Let's see. You got one. That'd be a little bit more than I'm that. Sorry, everyone. Leave this to me. Could be bad. Fuck happened to <laughs> did Emma or just <laughs> did Million just get blasted like like off the stage or something? That's crazy. Okay, I don't even know what happened to her. This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. Didn't catch what happened there. That was so that was like just crazy attack there. Right, anyway, ah, that sucks. Now I gotta do that all again. Yeah, at least you get to start back at this phase. Yeah, that is like benefit. Keep it up, everyone. But for your first down, that was not bad. 
Nah, I thought that went okay, but unfortunately, I wasn't expecting him to ass crab right at the start right there. That was that, was, that kind of sucked, unfortunately. Beginning mission. No, you don't. Wow, he he does it regardless. Okay, so there's not much I can really do about that. He just goes and uses it like right at the start, regardless. That's rough. I'll handle it. My turn. Onward. Song of healing. Thanks. You have my things. I'll handle it. Here I go. I wonder what the heck he was. We'll get back to where we were. <laughs> Status, damn, that's crazy. Your turn. I'll handle it. That's kind of nuts. Now, I'll set you up. My turn. Here goes. Overdrive. Yeah.
sorry. Can you handle this? Come on, Lammy! Come on, Lammy! Transform! Setting target. Get and throw this down. Get rid of his little minion. Gone that shit, that's not good. Not ideal. Got you. Here we go. Okay, uh You know what? If they're gone, then I gotta use these, I think. I might have to. him off with her S craft maybe. If it's not enough, it's almost enough. Okay, hold up. Okay. Good luck. I'll take it from here. Great stars in the heavens above. Please be enough. Oh, thank God. All right, sick. Okay. Phase three. <laughs> That's okay. Right. My regeneration is complete as well. Climb inside, Crow. All right, let's do this. Final phase. All right. Damn! Look at that fucking <laughs> meteorite up there. Slash criminal. Okay, yeah, it's all the stuff yeah, that I'm familiar with. Uh, go with uh, the arm. Okay. What the hell is that? Ooh, 
<laughs> nice, that's actually good damage from that. Got a boat! <laughs> okay, this guy, they're not lying when he had a, a, a thousand weapons. Okay, uh. Huge. Okay. He's also got a tail, I didn't even realize that actually. down. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> that was actually really easy. That, that phase was really easy. Probably not done yet. He's probably still got yet another face. <laughs> oh, what the heck's that? Is that? That's its core, with the crown prince in it. Ah, okay. I'll clear a path. You focus on rescuing. Got it. Uh oh, Millie, he's doing a Zebnus attack. No. I'm fine. It barely scratched me. You okay, keep good. I need you to still pay me my Mira. You're the only one who can save him now. So don't you dare look back. Right. Eight wings, one blade, seven four. Yeah. And domination. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, now it's open. Scorpion him. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All the references in this game. Devil May Cry, Mortal Kombat. It's crazy. <laughs> What's next?
He's exhausted, but his life doesn't appear to be in any danger. Yeah, he's lost a lot of mana, but nothing that would prove fatal. He'll be alright with some rest. Oh. oh thank goodness. Oh, that's a relief. That's our mission complete. We recovered the other one of this nation's greatest treasures. Ah. <sighs> this... this can't be... <sighs> I can't believe how wrong this has gone. <laughs> I can't imagine the Grandmaster is going to be very pleased with me when I get back. The Grandmaster? That's Ouroboros' leader, right? The very same. The only absolute figure to we Anguis. The supreme existence carrying out the Orpheus final plan, who will guide the souls of all. The souls of all? I don't get it. Hmm? So that's... So that's why you broke the taboo and left seven years ago. That's right. I became a guide for the second part of the Grandmaster's plan, known as the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. A plan to use the Hollow Phantasm and Crossbell to awaken the Blaze in the Empire. Regardless, thanks to you and Crow, I was able to advance it. Crow? That must be from where he was pierced during the battle. No! I shot Osborne too. How ironic. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, huh? Crow. You don't have to talk. <laughs> Sorry, Rain. Looks like I won't be able to keep that promise after all. To Angelica and George are gonna have to. It's okay. It doesn't matter right now. We need to stop the blood. It's hopeless, isn't it? I'm afraid so. He's been pierced through the heart. Even our witchcraft won't be enough. Well. The most I can do is make it as painless as possible. <sighs> It's not working. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. And you, Kitty. At least this way, I can say my goodbyes. Crow? No. No, don't talk like that. I swear, you're such a spoiled kid sometimes. Elliot? concert was really fun. Keep on loving music. As much as I loved yours. <laughs> Elisa, try and get along with your mom, all right? You've got your differences, but 
At least she's still alive to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Machias. Eusis. Stay good rivals for one another. Okay? The Empire might change with the times, but you two should always be the same. <sighs> of course we will. I refuse to accept him as a friend, but I'll accept him as a worthy rival. That's growth right there. Laura. Fee. Gaius. Melium. A lot's happened this past year, but I really enjoyed getting to know you. So, <laughs> thanks. We should be the ones thanking you. It's been fun for me, too. You've been a wonderful classmate and comrade. Thank you for everything. I know I'm an iron blood, but it was real fun for me, too. Sarah, thanks for everything. These last two years. And Vita, a lot's happened between us. But I'm glad I had you there. <laughs> you were as much of a model student as I was a model teacher. But still, I should be the one thanking you. Hey now. <clears throat> What's with the long faces? <laughs> what? You were all going to be in for some <laughs> tough times ahead. I can't go any farther now. <laughs> but you can. So keep going forward. Relentlessly. Without looking back. <laughs> as long as you do. I'm sure. Damn. <sighs> before their instructors. <sighs> Spare me the sentimental drivel! Oh, shut the fuck up over there. Well, oh, you're still trying to threaten us. Damn it all! How could I lose the Azure Chevalier at a time like this? Why must I be surrounded by nothing but disappointments? And that goes for you too, witch. And your useless society. How dare you! What do you think you're doing? I gave him my favor, and this is how he chooses to repay me? By standing in the way of my ambition? I should never have wasted my time on that waif from a fallen country to begin with. You utter scum. Please, don't speak of him that way. You're terrible. <laughs> Duke Cayenne, you will unhand him. If you continue this shameful behavior a moment longer, then I will be forced to respond in kind. Oh, shit. <laughs> Your part in this is over, witch. Uh, <gasps> oh, shit. You're here, Rufus. You, you... You did come to help me, didn't you? 
<laughs> As a commoner might put it, in your dreams. What? Target in sight. Damn. What are you? Target restrained. What's going on? What's she doing? Well done. You've behaved disgracefully toward the Imperial family and brought a calamity upon the innocent people of the capital. We may both fly the banner of the Noble Alliance, but I'm afraid I can't turn a blind eye to your misdeeds any longer. As the Alliance's Chief of Staff and a citizen of Arabonia, I hereby place the two of you under arrest. No! <laughs> I see. It all makes sense now. I thought something was amiss about you from the very beginning. I just couldn't work out where you had gotten that girl from the Black Workshop. But it seems that all this time, you were just waiting for your chance, weren't you? <laughs> Why, whatever do you mean? Uh, Vita? None of this is making any sense. <sighs> oh, I get it now. Milium? What do you get? Oh boy, I feel really stupid now. I can't believe it took me this long to figure out. You're one too, right? <laughs> yeah, it sure looks that way. Thank you for rescuing His Highness. Yeah, sounds like things were a real mess in here. Captain Claire? Captain Arundel? Wait, then... Now I get it. <gasps> it. It can't be. All this time, you were an Ironblood? Nani? The group's primary member, in fact. Though that secret was, until very recently, kept between myself and His Excellency the Chancellor. The others knew there was a primary member, but were never told who it was. Uh, oh. It was like a game of Among Us. Pretty much what he said. You should have seen my face when I found out earlier. <laughs> wow, even you couldn't figure it out? <sighs> what is the meaning of all this? Successor to one of the four great houses is the former Chancellor's protege? Why? Your high position in the Noble Alliance was secured. It was only a matter of time before you became the next Duke Alvarea. Why reveal this now? What could you possibly have to gain from professing your allegiance to a dead man? He would gain nothing. Which is why it's rather fortunate I very much alive. Hello? <gasps> uh. <laughs> what the hell? No. But you got shot in the chest. <gasps> no way. Impossible. Well, he did say his course was missing earlier in the game. It's a fucking zombie. G Gramps? I'm pleased to see you again, Milliam. Greetings to you as well, Class 7. And to your esteemed instructor. And to you, your grace. Y you! How are you still alive? Well, I would like to know. Oh, indeed. Perhaps the years have dimmed your eyesight, or perhaps I had a body double. Whatever the truth may be, I think that's the least of your worries right now. No, I would like to know how you're alive. <laughs> how, I don't know. Uh, 
All you need to know is that our loyal ally, Rufus Alborea, will be bringing the situation in Erebonia under control. And he'll do so with minimal conflict, while ensuring that the Noble Alliance's power is deeply diminished. That was the task I entrusted to him, and in that he shall not fail me. As ever, it's an honor to serve you, Your Excellency. <laughs> this is a dream! This has to be a dream. <laughs> Spoilers? Oh, okay. As obsessed as Crow was with making it happen, I had a feeling all along you weren't really dead. Did you really know? You made it quite clear that you were someone not to be underestimated. Back when we were working with you regarding the situation in Liberal. <laughs> I am afraid I haven't a clue what you're talking about. I'm amazed you can say that with a straight face. You're referring to those steam tanks and dealing with the aftermath of the Hommel incident, I take it? <sighs> but I could never have predicted you would have taken a branch of the 13 factories under your control. What exactly do you plan to do? <laughs> Is that not obvious? I'm taking over that phantasmal blaze plan of yours. And my first order of business will be sorting out the mess you left in Crossbell. <gasps> I'll allow you to leave this time, witch. Slink back to your master and the rest of that brood of serpents, and tell them if they even think of trying to stand in my way, I'll crush them beneath my heel. <sighs> Vita? Look, wait! I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Give my regards to the Elder. And I'm sorry for the trouble I've caused you all. Enemy of my enemy is my friend or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good way of putting it. Please, take good care of Crow for me. <sighs> but isn't he dead, though? You... Vita. She could have at least given us a chance to speak as well. Um... You've all done excellent work. Icy Maiden, White Rabbit, Scarecrow, and you, Jane. Thank you, Your Excellency. I'm overjoyed to see that you are alive. Can't say I honestly thought you were dead in the first place. Well, if anyone could survive being shot through the chest, it'd be you, so I did wonder. I don't imagine you intend to reveal your secret to cheating death, do you? <laughs> and rob you of such a splendid conundrum to puzzle. This castle will return to its original form within a few hours, but our work is far from over. I'll be giving all of you new assignments. As always, I expect only the best from each of you. Yes, Your Excellency. Man, things are about to get busy. I wonder what I should do. Rufus, I want the situation here resolved within the week. As soon as you have things under control, move forward with the occupation of Crossbell. Uh, what? With pleasure, Your Excellency. Dang, they're gonna raid it and take it over? That's nuts. 
Shit just is happening all so quickly here. I'm not trying to tell you the Chancellor was evil or anything. He was right all along, what the fuck? I can't believe that. Still, there's no denying that he managed to outwit my grandfather. I'd say it's fairly normal for a student to want to avenge his master's defeat, wouldn't you? Man, same place I shot Osborne too. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, huh? We were bad the whole time. That's that's wild. <laughs> that guide your actions, so too does His Excellency. And I believe you factor into those reasons more than you might think. What? What? Reen, I pray you grow up strong and healthy. Oh, Adios, if you're listening, hear me now. Please allow this child. <gasps> I see you finally remembered the truth. I'm glad to finally see you again, my son. You've grown into a fine young man. Potten? <laughs> what? <laughs> y you know what? That is a sh surprise, but it kind of is a bit of a callback to the first game when you actually meet him at the here at the, uh, in the first game, and then he has like that like heart chest moment where he's holding his chest. I thought there was something kind of connected between that. Didn't think it would be that though. That's crazy. This is like our. This is like this game's version of "Hey, I'm Vader. Hey, I'm your father" kind of moment in this game. That that's fucking nuts. Indeed, the Empire will soon know of the Ashen Chevalier, the hero whose brave deeds allowed us to reclaim the capital. And who better to assist me than a national hero? Wow. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> what the hell? And you're a bad guy. I can't believe Reen is bad. What the hell? Damn. Well, that was a twist and a half, I'll tell you what. And there's my 50 Mira. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe it just ends like right there too. What the fuck? <laughs> but we're not done with the game yet. We still have uh, epilogue and all that stuff to do too. It's like a million references right there. Uh, to play the other games, yeah. Well, it will be a little while till we get to that, because actually I don't even have any of the, the past games at all. Like, at all. I don't have any of them. 
What the fuck just happened? I'm trying to... Uh, I, I too am trying to uh, process everything that just happened. That's definitely a lot of shit that just happened. We got episode 4 and 5. Yeah. Main, mainly 5 there, I'd say. I guess, I, well, I guess technically 4 too, because, yeah. Such a what the fuck moment, yeah. That is very much so. And all this time, I thought we were doing the right thing, but apparently we were not. It's fucking nuts. I kind of had a feeling that Crow was uh was was dying at the end of the game. I didn't think he'd come he'd, he'd survive after all this either. So, I was going to say like I think he was going to die at the end of the game. But uh Yeah, but not with these consequences. That's crazy. I mean, but I mean you won, but like yeah, yeah. It was a really a win though. We won, but was it actually a win though? Is like an AI. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, very much. Is. We didn't see that scene. You probably learn more of that when if you actually do a lot of her uh, her path or her uh, her bond moments or whatever you want to call them. That is kind of wild though, because yeah, I, I I thought he just like he was bad the whole time, but no, he was doing the right thing the whole time. But I wish I knew how Osborne was still alive. They, I wish they would explain that, but I guess that's for another time, I guess. It's in before he was just wearing like some sort of like plate that made it so that the shot never went through. Or he had a stunt double or something like that. It'll be one of the two. That's what I have to feel. Or there was some crazy magic nonsense that uh, that he was uh, hit with before taking his speech. Hey, I got my Mira back. But at what cost? But what was the cost? <laughs> it wasn't worth it in the end to get it all back. <laughs> Finale, forward, relentlessly, end. Alright, uh, I guess I'll save right there, perfect. Alright. Continue on here. March 1,205. Alright, so now the epilogue can begin now. Imperial Territory of Crossbell. East side. Oh, we're just in Crossbell now? Interesting. You see what's been kind of going on around over there?
keeping their airships in train like this. Oxen might be powerful, but they're still tanks. We don't have to. Just focus on defense. The others will take care of destroying them. Ooh. Empire's new weapons? How can we compete with something so mobile? There's nothing to fear! They may be mobile, but they're a damn sight easier to handle than that purple devil of Crossfell. What the? What the hell is that? Hello! They're coming at 3 o'clock! Oh hell? shit! Freaking Valimar. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, is that? The Ashen Chevalier. The hero of the Imperial Army. The area beyond here is Imperial territory. You have no business treading into Crossfell. That was a warning. Try to advance any farther, and I will show no mercy. the Civil War, but seeing you up close, you're really something else. Not at all. I'm still fairly inexperienced, if you ask me. Recover the wounded in any POWs and return to Tangram Gate. Just remain vigilant until the speech is over. Yes, yes sir! sir. Uh, divestment, the occupation. It's now March, 1205 of the Septian calendar. Over two months have passed since the Azure Tree vanished. Okay, that's two months after, uh, the finale chapter, I see, okay. Ooh. That voice sound familiar? Nope. So much happened during those months. President Kreuz was arrested. Oh, wait. Crossbell's movement for independence was promptly declared in Is that a catchy? And before anyone could process what was going on, Pancake loving down, son of a bitch. Down. The war in Erebonia came to an end sooner than anyone had anticipated, but it was quickly followed by the invasion of Crossbell. It is? Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> oh my god. Also, what's up, uh, uh, Uber? How's it going, by the way? We are now in epilogue territory with this game. Gorelia Fortress, which once served as the only physical link between the two nations, is no more. But that proved to be little more than a temporary setback for the Imperial Army, who acted by flying hundreds of tanks over the state from a vast airship. In no time at all, Crossbell was occupied. The Calvert Republic, which had been wrapped up in its own share of chaotic internal disputes, finally reacted to Erebonia's bold invasion in turn. They began with sending its cutting-edge armored airborne divisions into Crossbell, hoping to force the Empire out of the region completely. Every attempt they made resulted in failure, as they were repelled effortlessly by one soldat after another. 
And today, at Orcus Tower, the new seat of Crossbell's government, the new rulers of Crossbell rose to deliver a rousing speech. This place looks pretty neat, though, I will say. Looks very, uh, futuristic? Like, modern? If that makes any sense? Yeah, this, kid, this kid's got a lot of cool mechs. I'll definitely tell you that. <laughs> Friends and citizens, it brings me great pleasure to stand here among you once again. But even in the midst of such gladness, the specter of the harm Crossbell has visited upon the Empire lingers still. The destruction of Garelia Fortress and the ensuing civil war it caused has taken a great toll in resources and in lives. The anger, sorrow, and dismay in the hearts of the Erebonian people is still fresh, still too near. But today is a joyous day, a day to put the troubles of the past behind us. Let us join hands and step boldly into the future, leaving our anger and grief behind. Challenges will rise before us, but together we shall meet them. Together we can rise above the tumult of these troubled times. Men and women, old and young, rich and poor, those from every walk of life can share in these aspirations. Looking toward that goal, there is someone I'd like to introduce to you today. A brilliant young man who played a pivotal role in bringing Erebonia's civil war to its swift conclusion. And the individual most responsible for the historic accomplishment that sees me standing before you today. The first Governor General of Crossbell, Lord Rufus Alberea. Greetings, friends. It truly lifts my spirits to be here among you. I'm honored to have been entrusted with the profound responsibility of acting as Crossbell's first Governor General. As I'm sure you're all aware, the division between the nobility and the common people is a long-standing part of Erebonian life. Personally, I stand in support of our class system, but I fully expect that one day it will fade away. After all, if each citizen of the Empire conducts themselves with the courage, dignity, and grace expected of a noble, then what difference would remain between myself and any of you? As I hope for that day, allow me to speak not only as your Governor General, but as an individual when I say, in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eugen III, I hereby proclaim the annexation of Crossbell into the Erebonian Empire. Damn, what a dickhead. May the goddess above stand witness, and may she forever bless Erebonia and Crossbell with the light of prosperity. We've got some real larger than life characters in charge of us now. He does have him. I, I still remember what I've heard him from originally. Sure, the Imperial Chancellor's intimidating, but he's so charismatic that the people eat up his every word. They love the guy. <sighs> I can see why he's the bee's knees over in Heimdall. The new Governor General is something else, too, albeit for different reasons. He's... how to put this? Difficult to hate. Like, he'd tell you to do something, 
and the next thing you know, you'd find yourself doing it just to see him crack a smile. Well, Alberay is the name of one of the top noble houses in the Empire. Top two, even. No surprise that the heir of such an affluent family would be popular, but it feels like there's more to him than that. That's what gets me, though. Those two were on completely opposite sides during the war. So why are they both so buddy-buddy now? Very oddly sudden, in my opinion. You're telling me. By the sounds of things, Erebonians can't make heads or tails of what's going on with it either. But you know how it is. There's so many rumors springing up thanks to the war, it's hard to tell truth from fiction. Yeah, I've even heard about a thousand arch tall castle appearing in the capital. I mean, that's gotta be made up, right? There's no way something like that's real. Yeah, I didn't believe it was either. <laughs> but it was. <sighs> You've got a real short memory if you think that's bull. The Azure Tree wasn't that long ago, you know. Point taken. Yes, this is the office of the Crossbell Times. What? Representative McDowell will be issuing a statement. Huh, sounds like something big's happening behind the scenes already. I'll get to gathering some info on what's happening for our international section. Galvard's probably got some good stuff. Works for me. You've got to use those connections of yours for something, after all. <laughs> well, see you later. Our independence came and went like bubbles on the water, and now we aren't even a state anymore. We're in for some tough times ahead. No. They always say that the pen is mightier than the sword. Do they say that? <laughs> I won't let those guys outdo me. Chief, let me handle that story. First time I've ever heard that saying. <laughs> I've heard fists mightier than the sword, I've never heard a pen. That's he all we of Heiyue can do for you, I'm afraid. He does Zangief in Street Fighter 4 and 5, and then Golbs in the city. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute, what? I know those the two. The gods have been given a little incentive to stay out of your way. You should face no more obstacles in your operation. Thanks, Sal. Oh my god, I know that guy. Think nothing of it. It's my pleasure to play all the cards I can. The place you're aiming for is where all the information in Crossbell gathers, as well as its Achilles heel. What you're doing does us no shortage of favors, I'll have you know. <laughs> I'm just this once. I'm happy to hear that. Hmm. Do take care, Yin. Uh, my apologies, Rishia. I've received information that quite a skilled warrior is in Crossbell at the moment. As have I. Nonetheless, thank you for your warning. Oh, not at all. I wouldn't want anything happening to a valuable future business partner. I believe that does it for me. I'll be praying for your success. <sighs> he's being awfully cooperative, isn't he? <sighs> and again, it's not a stretch to think he's only doing it because he's got something up his sleeve. He's an incredibly shrewd man. Most likely, he's happy to do whatever will shine the most favorable light on him once Crossbow's occupation period is over. True enough. He wouldn't want to screw up his chance to potentially play mediator between Crossbell and the Republic. I get the feeling he'd get along great with Lecter. He's our ally for now, but there's no guarantee how long that'll last. Exactly. It's in our best interest to remain wary of him. Still, if working with him helps protect those I care about most, then I'll gladly do so. Likewise. Interesting. Yeah, so I, I know who this guy is because um, recently App was playing the game that this guy stars in. Yeah, Lloyd. Yeah, that's his name. That's right. T 
Tio said to aim for the area up ahead. Crossbell's future rests in our hands. So let's get moving. Right. She's kind of bad, though? Yeah, I will say, she's got the thigh game going on. <laughs> for this chapter alone, you will make your way through a dungeon controlling police detective uh, Lloyd Bannings and ARC uh, and CL performer Rixia Mayo. Did I, did I say that right? Rixa? 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 I don't know how to say your name. Rixia Mayo. Or Mayo? Ma 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 I, I don't know how to say it. Uh, both link attacks uh, and overdrive are available to them. Oh, perfect. Nice. That's good to know. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, for those that don't know, um, I'm kind of spoiled by this because I kind of was uh, watching another person stream. But yeah, uh, App recently was playing the game that uh, this guy is in. So, yeah, so, for those that don't know, this is where kind of, I guess this is kind of the game, I guess, that kind of introduces it. But yeah, the other games in this series are kind of all connected to all the events in all the games. So this guy is in this game, and his game is connected to what happens in this game, basically, or I guess the first two games, technically, and whatnot. And then there's another series where eventually those characters right. are connected in his game, and then they all get into, like, it, it's, a, it's a giant fucking thing. It's like Avengers, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like the fucking MCU for, like, uh, JRPGs and something like that. It's kind of wild. <laughs> uh. It's, it's a nice you know, way of putting it, so, yeah. Okay, we have, like, no stuff and everything, yeah. So, didn't think so. Uh, yeah, let's just see. Oh, cool, yeah, there he is, he's like that. He's level 130, alright. Uh, what's his moves and everything? He's got heals and all that stuff, okay. And she's got... Okay. Interesting, alright. Um, what's his quartz? Okay, man, it's good to me. Do we have any other quartz? We do not, actually, okay. Rising Sun, Raging Spin, Brave Smash 2, Burning Heart 2, uh, True, uh, Dance, uh, True Dragon Claws, True Falling Moon, and Moonlight Butterflies. Uh, blinds foes with claws and lunar light, and then this launches foes upward when attacks like a dragon. That sounds pretty sick. <laughs> neat, neat. Uh, alright, cool. Alright. Well, we get to start the epilogue here, our first of two epilogues actually here, so yeah. <laughs> level 130, so this game gets the high level. Well, in this game, you start like at level 50, um, because you can carry over your save from the first game to the second game, basically. So stuff that you uh, did in the first game, carry over to, uh, to the sequels and stuff like that. So when I beat this game, uh, everything I did will carry over to the third game? And then the, that can carry over to the fourth game. So yeah, <laughs> I appreciate games that do that. Yeah, it's pretty neat. But yeah, um, I think we're gonna take a quick break, guys. Yeah, we're gonna do that real quick because yeah, oh, there was just a lot of story and a lot of stuff that went down. And Jesus Christ, the ending of the main game is just. <laughs> I, I I'm still uh, I'm still at a loss of what's going on with, with everything there. Um, but maybe the epilogue will actually uh, address some stuff as all that stuff happens and what everything that just happened there too. Because holy crap, that's a lot to take in. But yeah. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna take a quick intermission break, guys. So when we come back, we will begin technically the first of two epilogues in this game. So as we uh, hang out with the uh, Trails of Zero uh, cast or characters and stuff. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. So stay tuned as uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2 continues when I come back. So if you're heading out, thank you for watching. If you're sticking around, stay tuned as we will continue more when I return. So in the meantime, here's intermission. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Uh, stay tuned for more. Welcome to intermission.
right, so yes, we are back live here on The Gaming Beatdown with day number 13. Game number 232 here for Let's Play Nights and our second playthrough for Season 12. This is Trails of Cold Steel 2. That's right, we just finished the finale chapter of the game. Again, I'm still mind blown on what the hell happened. Uh, and now we're starting the epilogue now, the first of two of epilogues as, uh, yeah, it turns out we are uh, playing as a character from another uh, Trails of game. Um, Trails of Zero, I believe, is what the game is. So the protagonist from that game is who we're playing as right now. So yeah, um, and we're seeing what the heck uh, the epilogue has to in store to add even more like mind-blowing stuff and whatnot. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the cast so far today. And if you're joining us, welcome to the stream. I'm Andy. Welcome to the Gaming Beatdown, a let's play casual multiplayer stream live Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and Monday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Mountain, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. As we're here today on my uh, Saturday night block, which is known as Let's Play Nights, and we're currently playing through uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2. And this is currently our slot 2 game here on the channel, and this game will be played every slot 2 nights on the channel until we complete it here on the stream, which probably only like maybe a few more streams left. Like, after this stream, probably the next stream will probably be the last one, maybe, I feel. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see exactly. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I hope you've been enjoying it. Um, and just so everybody know, the next time I'll be live after tonight, the next stream will be here tomorrow night for week number 249 of Mario Kart Sunday. That's right, where we play Mario Kart with you, the viewers like you. So if you have that, come on by as we play Mario Kart with you guys. It should be a fun time, as always. Uh, Monday, we'll be here with a special Monday night edition of Let's Fun 8s. Continuing and looking to finish off Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We are pretty much going to finish the game up on that stream, so look forward to the final night of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on, well, Monday night, so should be fun. Um, and then late night beatdowns will be happening on uh, January 26th with Dead by Daylight and the game that you guys vote for through the viewers' choice polls. Make sure to vote for that when the poll goes up later on during the week. Uh, Let's Play Nights on Friday, January 27th. We'll be starting up our next game for Let's Play Nights, which we announce after Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ends on Monday, so look forward to that. And then Trails of Cold Steel 2 uh, continues on Saturday and on the 28th of January, and we'll probably be finishing the game on that stream there, so uh, definitely look forward to what will most likely be the finale day of this long game here in the channel, so definitely look forward to that. So yeah, and that is what's coming up here next couple days in the channel, all starting at their scheduled start times here on the screen, so to see then for that. If anything does change, I'll let me know on my social media and Discord, and check my full schedule here on Twitch. You can check that out over at thegamingbeatdown.weebly.com slash schedule. And by the way, if you are new and been enjoying it so far today, make sure to follow the channel by clicking the follow button found up above, down below, wherever it is for you, and if you'd like to see thing live here on Twitch, you can follow me on social media, such as my Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Steam, Discord, or my website over at thegamingbeatdown.weebly.com. You can find all my links at the top of the screen right up here, down below in the description down below, to the chat to the side, you spent by Beatdown, bot, depending on when you're watching the live streams, or the archive. Alright, so yes, on that note, let's continue on here as we begin, truly now, the epilogue for Trails of Cold Steel 2, the first of two parts of this epilogue, in fact, so yeah. Uh, for this first one, it's not very long. It looks like it's like a pretty short little thing, so it's like a small little thing, so it won't be very long to go through, which is great, so yeah. Um, but yeah, how does this weapon work? Okay, so it's like an attack thing here. Um, okay. Uh, okay, hold on. How do, I, how do I switch my character again for this? I forgot. Allow me. There we go. Dang, she's got a big freaking sword. Okay. Very slow, though. I feel like she might be, uh... This game's little, or, or the, uh, these characters' version of Laura. Uh, if she swings that big thing, oh god, it's a new enemy. It's like a little beaver with uh, spikes. What is he? Beaver the uh, Sonic the Beaver. We're in a good place. Prepare yourself. Ooh, we got new music too. Okay, uh, true dragon claws, true falling moon, and uh, moonlight butterflies. Okay, let's see. What does this do here? Uh, disappears from the side. Oh, it's like, um, B. Okay. Uh, throw swords like a boomerang. Okay, that's straight laying. I mean, this is all of them. Okay, let's start with this one. Ah, uh, damn. That's kind of sick. Here goes. Okay. Allow me. Damn, she's pretty cool. The battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. All right. Get much XP there. All right. It's weird hearing them in English voices. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they didn't 
decide to um, translate the uh, or voice dub the uh, his game when it's very new, actually. <laughs> it's very new overseas, at least. Right. Shatter. Ooh, hey, all there. Now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Too expensive, right. I guess. Such an indie company they are. Ah, uh, he's just like that's like Zora's move, yeah. This is my chance. Prepare yourself. Ah. Okay. Uh. Come. Nice. Now. Gotcha. So my she's turn. she's gonna do more of the damage. Okay, yeah. So. Now. Okay. What's up, Lord Navasa? Yeah, we just finished up the uh, the, the main story or the finale chapter, I guess technically. Ah. Not technically over yet because this is still the epilogue. The first of two of them, I should say. Here goes. Prepare yourself. Huh? Right. Huh? Well, that's right. unfortunate. How is that scene? My mind is blown. <laughs> So I'll try to process it all. Okay, we're here. Oh, okay, we got a big room here. Oh, good, they have, um, the, you can see the chest on the map. Perfect, that works for me. Oh, boy. Bring it on! Why does he fight with a dual disc? Prepare yourself. Because he wants to summon, summon Skull to the field. <laughs> and then on his other dual disc, he wants to summon Dark Magician. <laughs> All right, anyways, so this down here. All right, I think there's three more games. Yeah, and then there's a whole other games to go through as well, which is nuts. Also, damn, there's a lot of uh, crits going on here. Well, this looks like a time to use uh, here goes. Lloyd's uh, ultimate here. Let's see what it looks like. Rising Sun. Now. Rising sun. Oh, what the hell? That's sick. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fucking badass. <laughs> I have to see what hers is about. Let's wait till the next trick pops up. Oh, actually, right here, actually. Do I waste it on him? You know what? Fuck it. We, we can re we can quickly refill that. So, yeah, you know what? Let's see it. Fine. Sharon with all the chains. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I think Lloyd's is a little bit better, but that, that was still pretty cool. But we aren't safe yet. Still pretty neat. I will admit. <sighs> that was some fight. This sector has been abandoned for quite some time. It's not hard to imagine why so many powerful monsters settled in here. What amazes me more is just how much these Arcus Orbments are capable of. Yeah, they'll be a real asset to us in the future. Can't believe he's voiced by fucking Akechi. <laughs> I can't unhear it. They're so modern, they're practically still in testing over at the Empire. I'd be expecting him to just, like, betray me at some point and tell me to go eat pancakes at McDonald's. I miss the variety of arts I could use before, but in terms of balance, they're much more suited for combat than our Enigma 2s. Well, Erebonia has always had the upper hand on military technology, if nothing else. And so they had to use a different system. Interesting. We should count ourselves lucky that Michel got his hands on them for us. On that note, we should also count ourselves lucky for being able to utilize them so well. I don't think we've had a single problem linking up. <laughs> I admit, it's a strange feeling. 
It's as if we knew everything there was to know about one another, through and through. Almost as if our bodies became one. How, um... <clears throat> poetic. <laughs> sort of like how you perform with Elia on stage, right? That's like being one, in a sense. Now that you mention it, you could put it that way, yes. At this point, however, I doubt I would even need one of these to match my movements to hers in battle. So this is what the Geofront's E-Sector looks like. This one supposedly had its existence hidden from the general public, didn't it? That's what Ellie said, anyway. It was kept sealed off to keep everything inside strictly confidential. Corrupt officials and Diet members used it to conceal any information they didn't want leaking out. She did add that it wasn't its only use, though. Just one of them. I see. Not the kind of place we can just leave as it is, then. Yeah. We need to make our way through here, whatever it takes. Ready to give it everything we've got? Of course. So she was in uh, zero two, right? Am I am I right on that? Is she is she? Because I'm pretty sure I think I've seen her in uh, in that game too. All right, let's see. Let's go this way. <laughs> but yeah, not awkward at all. Absolutely. She's an NPC? Oh, really? So this is kind of her date. So this is kind of like her debut as a character you can play as. Interesting. Gotcha. Right. Well, I missed that. Right. <laughs> but yeah, with her, it's like I'm looking respectfully. <laughs> gotcha. Right. Oh, she's not in zero. Oh, okay. So she's in the uh, she's in the she's in the sequel for Zero. Then gotcha. You fiend! Fiend! Right. My turn. Oh, she is in Zero. Oh, but probably maybe playable in that. Oh god, I'm dying. Hold on. Allow me. Hold on, I'm dying. more all right let's uh heal up for a second here because I uh <laughs> I'm dying here uh okay this is really good though We came from that way, yes. Uh, can I go this way? Oh, sure. I totally can, yeah. Bat, bat. Right. All right. All right. We're in a good place. It's good. It's good uh, advertising. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I'd say so. Stealth up and speed up. Damn, that's crazy. What does this do? Uh, gains immense power but inflicts faint after five turns. Oh shit. Allow me. Shatter. Now. Gotcha. My turn. Okay. Here goes. 
All right, nice. All right, we're safe now. Oh, actually, what are their um, what are their what you call their their stuff? Oh, he's got force. Okay, he's got a uh, Murakuma. Okay, I'm re I know what force is. At least we the uh, class seven has that, so it's fine. Oh, we're going to events here. This is almost uncomfortably narrow. Mm. All right. There. All right. We're in a good place. Love the music too. Right. Yeah, it's really good. Ooh, here we go. Uh, do uh. Come. Sounds good, Angel. An Have a good night. Gotcha. My turn. Do much Allow me. So you want to use her as your damage? It looks like yeah, she does now. a hell of a lot of damage. Nuts. Me, boy. Right, right. 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 Take this. You're off balance. This is my chance. You're done. Nice. Nice knowing you've got my back, Risha. <laughs> Not a bad team, are we? All right. Chest here, yes, sir. A EP charge for there's a there's a higher EP charge. Damn. That's nuts. Here goes. All right. Uh. Uh, it's a device to operate a ladder. Oh, is wait, oh, is there something down there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's actually something down there. Let's get that first. Let me go down this way. Oh no, it's a sussy chest. Okay, hold on a minute. Bring it on. Allow me. Man, it doesn't have the same song. <laughs> Rest in peace, old sussy chest song. Now. Overdrive. It's not the same. All right. Anyways, ah, get him upset. My turn. Take this. You're off balance. This is my chance. Allow me. All right, perfect. And then we'll hit him with uh, this. The assist. Okay. Uh. Now he has a fast getting uh, elements on him on, on enemies. He's better. Allow me. Might be best more. to buff him at the start of fights. All right, and they level up. Ha! Can't complain. <laughs> I still have plenty of training ahead of me. 
All right, what do we got? Uh, Grail Locket. What does that do? Uh, prevents all ailments, uh, except for KO. Damn, that's pretty good. Um, who does she have? She has the Bish Shadow. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'll put that on him. For the time being. Oh, our chat. Oh, nice. Our HP's actually full again. Perfect. That works out. Uh, wait, there's a chest down there. Can I get around there from here? No. No, I cannot. Okay. Ladder real quickly. Let's see where this takes me. Well, actually, there's something right there. First of all, let me go grab whatever's here. There's a switch or something right over here. Oh, it lowered that. Okay, yeah, 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 nice. I know what that did now. Oh, went the wrong way here. Going by based on the on the shirt, I'm guessing he this guy is like a, like a cop for one of the, the towns. Is it Crossbell Police? He works for the Crossbell Police Department. It looks like what the PD stands for. So interesting. It'll be interesting to learn about him. Whenever I get to his game, if I ever do something like that. Okay. Here goes. Nice crit. I'm still up for more. Kind of almost sounds like, uh, yeah. speaking of Lloyd, he does yeah. sound like another Lloyd. He kind of almost sounds like Lloyd Irving from, from Tales of Symphonia a little bit. With some of uh, the way he says his dialogue. Chest over there. That chest way over there too. Okay, perfect. He's reverse a catchy. That's so ironic. Too. Oh, found a chest. I won't kind of lose. <laughs> All right. Me. So I'm guessing what you're telling me he is um he also likes waffles as well. Gotcha. Here goes. Man, he gets speed, Here defense, goes. and strength up. That's nuts. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That. that you wanna. You wanna buff him. All right. That's the You're idea. Now. Okay. Yeah. That's. That's. That's the key with him. You wanna buff him and then just wail on him. A nice treasure chest. Seven Dragons Armor. Alright, what's that? Let's see. Uh, body armor made for the uh, refined steel. Okay, yeah. Let's put that on. That place. double advantage right Prepare there. Yourself. Nice. An opening. Gotcha. Here goes. Arcus, activate. Right. Uh, activate. Ooh, nice. The battle's over. 
But we aren't safe yet. The weapon is sick. I, I, I don't know, just something with me with like giant ass swords like that. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Ah, I see, I gotta go around this way. I'm just glad I'm going through first. <laughs> hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, never mind me. <sighs> <laughs> I can't tell her it's because of her outfit. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty uh, revealing, that is for sure. <laughs> I am trying to stare respectfully. What a nice treasure chest. Alright, ooh, new weapon for her, actually. Nice. Uh, Bakia. Ooh, a crit rate up to 5%. Nice. Huge, nice. That's pretty good. Uh, this is for the switch over here. Oh, there is. Oh, cool. I should have to go back now. Cool. Awesome. Alright. Uh, it looks like I got everything. Yep. Looks like we started. Yep. Alright. Let's go. All right. Let's go this way first. Get everything in here first. Ah, bug. The not right. so great one. Good place. Allow me. Come. Mm, all right. Here goes. Nice. All right. We're safe now. Perfect. Uh oh, there's a chest. Keepy charge. Cool. I love the flute going in on this song. I don't know why. It, it's just that flute that just, just yeah. it's nice to listen to. Hard like a trombone, the trombone guy from the Game Awards. Yep. I won't lose. My turn. I'd like to nominate this award to my for my rabbi Bill Clinton. Now. 
That was a lot of damage on that move. Right. I missed the guy that was right in front of me. No shot. How does that even happen? I was like standing, you standing like legit in front of me. How how do you miss that? <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> Quite impressive. The advantage is ours. Right. Here goes. Allow me. Right. Allow me. What? Prepare yourself. Here goes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right. How do you miss? It's like right in front of you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're safe now. <laughs> All right. We're in a good place. Right. Huh? Right. <sighs> Let's keep moving. Okay. Uh see. what's over here? Giant bug. Bring it on. Prepare yourself. Uh... Activate! Ooh, all right. My turn! My turn! I like your design. <laughs> I still have plenty of training ahead of me. That takes care of them. Hope I didn't end up dragging you down any. <laughs> there was never any chance of that. I can't think of anyone else who could go through the things you did and come out stronger than ever. You should be more confident, Lloyd. There's no way I could have gone through it all alone, though. I still got a ways to go as a detective, too. Wow, he literally is a catchy. He's also a detective. <laughs> He's voiced by a catchy who's also a detective. Now, uh, the only thing I need to know is if he's a pancakes or waffles kind of guy. And when you think about all the obstacles we've got waiting for us, I'm nowhere near strong enough to handle it all. I wouldn't say that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I've got no confidence in my own abilities. Have confidence. I just think it's important to be able to give an honest assessment of your own strengths and weaknesses. 
When it comes to pure strength in combat, Randy and Noel clearly come out on top. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are the other characters I'm aware of from um, from Zero. Yeah, yeah. Again, I saw App play Zero, and yeah, those two are definitely in that, that game. With processing information, it's Tio, Yona, and Fran. And in terms of negotiation tactics, I can't compare to Ellie or the Chief either. If we don't make good use of our respective strengths, we're not going to be able to get through what's ahead. We might not all be able to stay in the same place anymore, but we still need to be able to work together. Oh, they've started keeping watch on everyone then? Yeah, I think Randy was the first one. After that, Ellie and Noel started being watched. If it weren't for Tio's help, Kia and I would probably be in trouble too. Hmm. Is Kia still with Arios and Shizuku? Yeah, Arios is looking after both of them. They should be okay for the time being. If the Imperial Army sets their eye on them, then this could get nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. The reason we're here is to try and avoid coming to that. We best get moving. We still likely got a ways to go. True. Let's go. All right. Is that to uh, the next area? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. I just got to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, I did. I did miss a few chests. Hold on. Let me uh, go back then. I forgot a few chests up there. Let me go back for those. Um, yeah, it's the next floor here. All right, we're in a good place. Making sure. Right. That might be a good item. You never know. Here goes. Take this. Allow me. Allow me. Huh? Oh, I thought it died. My turn. Huge. Right. Huh? Again, how do you miss? It's right in front of you. <laughs> Here goes. RPG logic. Prepare Thing is yourself. legit standing huh? a foot ahead of you. Not even. And you miss. <laughs> Alright, Lloyd levels up. Not too shabby. Alright. Okay, there was a thing I didn't crawl, crawl into up here, Jack. That's where we want to go, right here. What a nice treasure chest. See? Emergency pup. It was worth going for it because there was something there. Uh, prevents KO. Perfect. So they both have one of those now. Perfect. Uh now we go up a floor and then take a path here. Yeah, there we go. Thing, great one. Oh no, hold on. We need this. Yeah. Thought I went over there. Apparently we did not. Oh, found a chest. Oh, let's take out this guy first. Bring it on! Oh. <laughs> I thought he was gonna spin by then, but apparently not. Big miss. My turn. Now. This is my chance. Nice knowing you've got my. 
Okay, what's in there? A nice treasure chest. Strega S. Strega. <laughs> All right. Uh, made order. Okay. For her. Activate this again. We'll need that. Alright, perfect. Uh, oh, yeah. This way, yeah, this way. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're good. Okay. <laughs> now we've got everything. Huh. All right, next area. Oh, actually, what's in here? There's just in here. Celestial Bomb, nice. Could use some of those. Weird looking fish with a weird mouth. Allow me. Oh, yeah, that works. All right. We're in a good place. Allow me. Uh, yeah. Come. Right. Allow me. Nice. The battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. Perfect. Space Sucky, alright. The Cephas, I guess. Ah, uh, what's this do? Hmm. Go back this way. Yeah, there's a red chest over here. All right. Right. A nice treasure chest. Before we go in there, let me uh heal up here for her at least. So. I am no help with puzzles, as you know. They're not that hard. <laughs> this will only take a moment. Here goes. All right, now we're gonna overdrive. Overdrive! All right. And then I'm going to do this. Followed by this. Yeah, his, his ultimate's cooler, <laughs> I feel. A fucking wolf coming out of the ground, or dragon, whatever it is. I think it's a dragon. Yeah, it's a dragon. Okay, it's definitely a dragon. Oh, damn. Clean sweep. Nice knowing you've got my back, Risha. <laughs> the red chests aren't too hard in this game, I will say. Zeus Jam. Nice. Uh, would that benefit here, actually? Actually, what does he benefit more on? Yeah, it looks like it's about the same. Okay. They're both kind of physical based, so doesn't really matter. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's back this way. Okay, and then we want to raise this again. Nice. 
there's another one over there. Right. Oh. Yeah. All right. We're in a good place. Triple advantage. Allow me. You love to see it. My turn. Nice. The battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. We got overdrive. ways we can go here unless the one way was the uh the way I came from there Where did this take? Okay, that might take me to the next area here. Uh, let's make sure I've been over here. Nope, we have not. Okay. Octopus, tentacruel. I won't lose. Right. Here I go. Overdrive. All right, hit him with the strength up, a defense up, speed up, and then we win. Big squeeze, yes. Holy. And he gets to go again because he's so fast. He's got busted. <laughs> he's kind of quick. When he powers up, he does like so much damage. I still have Alright. And she levels up. Alright. So far so good. I suppose. Is something wrong? I just have a bad feeling about something. I'm sorry. It's probably just my imagination. So you say, but those bad feelings of yours usually pan out to be accurate. I've had my life saved by them enough times to know that. If it weren't for you, I'd have probably died on one of those landmines. Or been hit by that sniper. I'd forgotten all about those. I have much less of an idea what the cause of this one could be, though. I only have a general, vague sense that something dangerous is drawing near. Could it be that skilled warrior Sal mentioned earlier? It might be. If all we were dealing with was a skilled warrior, I'm sure I'd be able to take care of them. This, though, whatever it is, it feels far beyond my capabilities. I'm probably not making much sense, am I? No, it's okay. Even the warning alone is appreciated. Rishia knows how to keep her cool in a crisis better than anyone I know. If what we're up against has even her on edge. I need to work on kicking my instincts up a notch or two. At least so they're as good as guys. Well, according to the data Tio gave us, we should be over halfway through by now. Let's just stay alert. If we don't know what we're up against, all we can do is try and be prepared for anything. Agreed. 
So I checked if you beat this next week, you'll have the same amount of streams I beat. Oh, nice. I think we will. I think it's. I think we're. I think we're. We'll be able to. I don't see why we won't be able to beat this next week. I'm pretty sh sh uh, safe to say we will. Because this part's not very long from what I'm looking at the guide here. For this. This, this, fir this first uh, epilogue, that is. As long as the final boss goes smoothly. I guess there is another final boss, actually. Well, technically, that's not the final boss. We already beat the final boss. It's just another boss, <laughs> in a sense. It's just an epilogue boss. Uh... Yeah, so yeah, we did come from this way. Yeah, yeah, so we're good, we're good. Okay. I was like, we we did uh come through that way, right? Yeah, yeah, yes we did. It's hard to read the map sometimes when it's like it block it's showing underneath you and on top of you, so it's just kinda hard to see it at times. Destination must be down below. Yeah, let's try and unlock it. Okay. Let's see. We can take two paths here. Um, that one doesn't look as long. Let's do the this side first. This one's a little bit longer. Take the longer uh, path first. Good place. My turn. I guess you could call it that. Huh. Allow huh. Let's keep moving. Not too shabby. Level up again, nice. Yeah, yeah. Fire. Hey, huh. Oh, nice. Ah, okay, so we'll probably make a bridge going the way back. I see how you work in game, or room, or place, whatever you want to call it. Crit, nice, huge. Okay. Right. Come. That was easy. The battle's over. You're very gentle with the crits a, a lot more in this uh, this little chapter. They just give them to me. Okay. I did that. Um. There. We'll grab that first. This is a tight fit. Eh, you should be used to it. In another life, you're a phantom thief. Not really a fan of thief. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Yeah. All right, we're in a good place. Allow me. Come. 
Yeah. An opening. Gotcha. You're finished. You're finished. All right. Nice. <laughs> nice knowing you've got my back, Risha. Slipper back on here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ah, uh, wait. Was I going this? No, I'm going this way. Yeah, okay, yeah. Get the red chest first. All right, what are we getting here? Oh, found a chest. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's two slugs. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, I missed one. An opening. Come with me, boy. All right. Here goes. My turn. All right. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. Here goes. Allow me. Come. Now. Gotcha. Taking a little bit of damage here. <laughs> Get rid of them. All right, we're safe now. All right. If I had an overdrive there, that wouldn't have been as threatening. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's quickly. area to get to is this way. The advantage is ours. Prepare yourself. Come. Ooh, nice. An opening. Gotcha. Easy fight was easy. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> the there we go. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Yourself. That's a lot of enemies. Now. Gotcha. Here goes. Damn, nice. Right. Huh. Nice as again. Let's keep moving. Okay. Uh right. Where was it going? This way again. Careful. That one looks tough. It's a giant red moss thing. Any Whatever it is, I don't know. Right. It's it's a thing.
right. Here goes. Here I go. Overdrive. They're off balance. This is my chance. Right. I hold my dance. An illusory offering to the parting souls. Sleep. Embraced by silver light. Bye! Well, she shoots those out of her little gauntlet that she wears. Knowing you've got my back, Risha. <laughs> That's pretty good. Good one. Hey, tear all bomb. Oh, what's new? Found a chest. Heavenly robe. For her. Maybe for her. Yep. Ooh, that's nice. Good stats right there. All right, unlock that. All right, first one is uh. First one is unlocked. That's the first lock done. Now for probably the the faster one of the two. I'd say. This area doesn't seem. This one doesn't seem as long <laughs> compared to the uh, the last little area we were in. Probably just a lot of enemies. That's probably what it's going to be filled with more. All right, we're in a good place. Right. Huh. Right. <sighs> Take this. Right. Prepare yourself. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> now. This is my chance. Okay. Allow me. Do we have anything that unbalances? Uh, no, not really. That was too bad. Prepare your <laughs> Could have been a lot worse there. The battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. Careful. That one looks tough. That's a giant squid. <laughs> you overcome any obstacle. Allow me. Now! Overdrive! Overdrive! Uh, let's go with, uh, Adish. An opening! Come with me, boy! Alright! My turn! Yeah! Here goes! You're finished now! Right. All right. Now. Gotcha. Allow me. Why? <laughs> Why do you miss? At that very moment, you had to miss right there. <laughs> Still up for more. All right, couple level ups there. Huh. Can't complain. <laughs> I still have plenty of training. All right. Ah, uh, we got a couple ways we can go. Let's go this way first. Celestial bomb. 
This takes me... Somewhere? I can't really tell, though. Path's kind of blocked on the map. Uncomfortably narrow. Longest vent in the world. All right. Haha, <laughs> you can't come over here. What are you gonna do about it? What do you mean? <laughs> I wanted the uh, the advantage there. Come on, come on, come on. Now, gotcha. My turn. Now, come on, Misha. All right. The battle's over, Perfect. but we aren't safe yet. Okay. I like I respond. Feels bad. Well, I guess he did because we did we did go out of the area. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're in a good place. That is fair, I guess. Right. 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 Come. Here goes. You're off balance. This is my chance. You're done. Nice knowing you. Battle scope. Got a red chest wow. there. Found a chest. Be careful. Well, you that sucks. He would not turn around. So we'll just do this. All right, we're safe now. All right. Oh, found a chest. Strike a P. Yep. Yeah. Take me. Ah. Oh, I see, I see. I think so. <laughs> there we go. All right. Very nice. We have unlocked the elevator. That's two locks done. Let's head back to the elevator. Let's right, just go this way. That works out. Or it's convenient. Careful. That one looks tough. Oh, hi. Any I guess we'll fight on the elevator. Now. I was gonna see if I could glitch it so I could take him up the elevator, but it's a little too fast for me. Now. Gotcha. He's a little quick for right. me. Right. You're off balance. Come on, Misha. Prepare yourself. Moonlight butterflies. Yeah. 
right. Allow me. Well, that went all my work I went towards that. Shatter. An opening. Gotcha. Right. Now! This is my chance! Allow me. Shatter! Now! Gotcha! Allow me. Here goes. Nice. There we go. I'm still up for more. Don't come out again. All right, we're in a good place. Prepare yourself. Stuff up there. Could be a boss maybe coming up. Now! Gotcha! Here goes! <sighs> Take this! Right! Huh. Now! Gotcha! My turn! Eight, two. Right! Huh. All right. <clears throat> the battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. All right. Now let's head down the elevator, finally. Oh, operate the elevator? Oh, actually, first off, let me, uh, let me save first. Now we're good. All right, go. for me then. Alright, there's probably a boss uh, behind this door here. Let's go. The computer room. We found the computer room. Lloyd, I think we're here. Yeah. We finally reached the end. Is it just a straight line? Yep. It is. Vector Central Terminal Room. Vector would be proud, he would. I'll have to let him know. Oh my. This facility would be the center of Crossbell's orbital network, yes? In a way, the overall structure is far too complex for this to unambiguously be its center, but it's a good chunk. Either way, if the Imperial Army took it over, they'd have instant access to all info related to us on the net. Every Crossbell citizen's personal data, records on our financial transactions, even the layout of the whole Geofront. If we want to have any hope of the future, we can't allow that to happen. Well, I hope nobody shows up to try to steal it. I agree. Why not just destroy the facility itself, though? We could, I guess. But from what I can gather, it could still prove useful to us once the net's safely back in our hands. 
So the plan is to leave the hardware itself intact, but wipe any and all personal data the army could take advantage of. And that's where that initialization unit Teal made comes in, right? Right. Roberts and Yona were the ones who actually designed it, though. They wrote the program for it from scratch, too. And that makes things easy on our end. Once we boot up the computer, it'll create a backup of everything we need before wiping it clean. Initialization unit activated. Confirming connection to terminal zero. The unit will commence backing up all data, initializing the system, followed by performing a reboot operation. Are you certain you wish to continue? If so, Please press the red button at the center of the unit to proceed. Would you like to download Windows 11 as well? Uh, no, no, that's fine. Are you sure? It could be very helpful with this download. No, no, no. I'm good with I'm good with my Windows 10. Right. Very well. Commencing all required processes. <sighs> Nicely done, Lloyd. <laughs> it's not like I did anything special. It's funny. Ordinarily, this kind of work would take hours. But this unit will let us get in and out in ten minutes flat. Those two never cease to amaze, do they? Roberts and Yona? They certainly are impressive. In the meantime, let's secure the area... Stop where you are. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't sense anyone coming. <sighs> Targets confirmed. I presume these must be Lloyd Bannings and Rishia Mao, respectively. <gasps> How do they know our names? Hold on. Isn't that Itachi? Like the one Arios uses. I'm nowhere near as proficient with one as he is, though. But we should be able to handle the two of you, at least. Clown Soleus. The hell? A black... puppet? Sorry. But we've got our orders. We can't let you finish what you came here for. <sighs> I'm afraid we can't let you stop us either. We won't let you pass. Confirming activation of combat link. It looks like more Arcus units ended up leaking out than I thought. We should form one too then. Understood. Activating Arcus. There shouldn't be any need to neutralize them. Our goal is to buy enough time for the initialization process to finish running. Let's do this, Risha! Right. And we can't afford to give them that time, Optina. Understood. Commencing assault. Whoa! I can't believe Reen is a bad guy. Allow me. It's wild. All right. Moonlight butterflies. Ha! Ow. Yeah. Big miss. My turn. All right, here we go. My turn. <laughs> I gotta say, this game is so anime, it's kind of cool, yeah. Consider it like anime MCU. We're playing as a protagonist from another game in this series, and we're going up against the protagonist of this game. At the moment. Wild. It's 
kind of nuts. Uh oh. I'm gonna die. Holy fuck. That did a lot of damage. Right. Very huge right there. Forming barrier. Oh, here we go with this barrier nonsense from earlier in the playthrough. Okay. Another bomb? Yeah. Allow me. Music is bombs in this game. Like butterflies. There. Now. I'll aid you. Yeah. Here goes. Up here. <laughs> Activate. Thanks. Which means I'll do this again. I actually haven't never seen it before, actually. Allow me. Oh damn, she just gets. Oh wow, she's got. She's got. Uh, what call it? Um, Alicia's little thing. She can revive herself after getting wiped once. Ah, I'm sorry. Lloyd, please. All right, let's do this. Understood. Right. Huh. Thanks. For 
alarming barrier. Prepare yourself. Come! Now! Gotcha! Like like Green's gonna hit, hit this pretty soon, so I gotta use this. Again here, we can we can we can uh. I require your support. Rita. We can do this again. Oh, perfect! Actually, this is Let's actually a good time. Second form. Okay. Allow me. Never mind. A a as I uh, a as I have a crit, they fucking stop me from being able to use that. I you hate to see it. This was a bad start. That's <laughs> just right. the start there, but you you would have gotten uh, crits. Like butterflies. Thankfully, some RNG kicked in for me. Just yet. damage by CTO at 200 percent Here 
Here goes. Take this. Marcus, Sag. <laughs> They're immune to that. Prepare yourself. Now. Gotcha. My turn. Big man. Oh, she didn't get hit by it. Damn, I, th I, th I thought she was near it. Moonlight butterflies. Right. Right. Here comes another uh, one of those. I'm sorry. Prepare yourself. Thankfully, she's invisible right now, so that's kind of huge. Thanks. Prepare yourself. It's hard to figure out who to go for. Allow me. My turn. Prepare yourself. Mm, this might turn a little hard, actually. I'm trying to figure out who I should go for first. Oh, both dead anyway. Actually, no, she'll be alive. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. She gets that. She gets that. That's right. That's right. You just get it one free. Allow me. Like butterflies. So they've used their ass crap now. They can't use it for a few turns here, so it's good. Huge. Right. Arcus, activate. Allow me. You're hitting her too. Uh, big crit right there. Oh, I have a overdrive here. Sick, okay, I, I, I should use that actually. On my next turn. Allow me. Now! Overdrive! Come! An opening! Gotcha! Here goes! Right! Yourself. Come. 
jam, though? I know, right? Hell yeah, they're both jam. That's gonna block him. Oh, never mind. He gets another turn. Yeah, that's right. I'll aid you. You fiend! Brianic, I fire. I'm sorry. Right. Nice. Got it. <laughs> Lloyd took one for the team there. That's all I'll say. <laughs> you took one there. You make zero XP from that fight. Neat. I'm surprised. I knew full well Risha would pose a threat. I wasn't expecting half as much from a simple detective. You could say it runs in the family. I'm just as impressed by how proficient you are with that blade, given your age. I've still got a long way to go, honestly. I won't be worthy of being called a divine blade anytime soon. Green, time is running short. I think it's time you stopped holding back. <sighs> I suppose you're right. What? Be careful! Oh, I know what he's gonna do. Doing such negative energy. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Our mission's complete. Initialization process completed. Rebooting all systems in an initialized state. We did it. <sighs> what a relief. What should we do? Captain Lecter gave us two orders. One was to prevent the initialization. The other was only to be completed in the event we couldn't. We'll just do that one. Captain Lecter? It couldn't be the same Lecter from the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division, right? Heed my call! Heed my call. Valimar, Valimar, the Ashen Knight! No shot, you're gonna bring him in? Oh shit. Holy. An ion? No, it isn't. <laughs> oh shit, I have to actually fight Valamar? Oh, that's gonna be fucking hard. Wait, no! Oh, he's gonna destroy it. Oh. At least get the data out of here. We'll split our losses this time. Arrest warrants haven't been issued for either of you yet. So go. Damn it. Just tell me one thing. I'm sure you already know. My name is Lloyd Bannings, and I'm a police detective with the Crossbell State Police Department. What's your name? I'm with Thor's Military Academy, Class 6. I'm a provisional military officer with the Crossbell government, Green Schwarzer. Hmm.
Did they have a falling out after all that? Mm. Call himself that. Yes, this is Schwarzer speaking. Hey, good job on the mission. Nothing good about it, I'm afraid. I couldn't prevent them from erasing all the data. Eh, it's not the end of the world. They've still got plenty of other options. They're not the type to give up easily, but it'll set them back in the meantime. Is that so, Captain? You must know them fairly well. I guess you could say that. They're no pushovers. They've had the odds stacked against them in more ways than I can count. They've come out the other side every time. I'm so sorry I couldn't do anything. I had a feeling something was going to happen. But I was powerless when it really did. Don't feel bad. There was no way we could have seen that coming. Especially that night. It was kind of like an ion, but at the same time it wasn't. Or like the Archaisms, for that matter. He called it the Ashen Knight, didn't he? He did. Its power was out of this world. Do you think that was one of the Imperial Army's new weapons, too? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, it shares some similarities with their soldats. I don't know. Feels like there's more to it than that. And its pilot was anything but normal. Let's put it out of our minds for now. We stopped that data from falling into the Army's hands. It wasn't our smoothest operation, but I'd still call it a success. I'm sure Tio, Yona, and Roberts can make do even without those terminals. You can always count on Ellie, Randy, Noel, the Chief, and Dudley, too. Even Kia, Ario, Swazi, and Zeit will help us. It's a lot of names I don't know. <laughs> Only a few of them actually I know because I watched that play uh, this guy's first game. There are still many barriers left between us and our goals. But we can get over them. So long as we're together. Right. There's like 50 names he just said. I know. <laughs> You're heading back then? And by the end of all this, there's going to be like 90,000 characters that are like all important to the plot. It's like, that's too many characters to follow. <laughs> that's the plan. I've played my part. I'll return with Valimar in the train this afternoon. Well, if that's what you want to do. I was just wondering if you wanted to go back on the Isengraft together instead. You two haven't spoken since, right? Excuse me. This is where we part ways, then. I look forward to any collaborative efforts we may have in the future. Yeah. Oh, right. Do you have anything you want me to pass on to Milliam? Not especially. We may technically be sisters, but I am simply a tool. I feel no particular familial bond with her. I imagine that deep down, she feels the same way. Yeah, but... No. Forget it. Take care, okay? I don't doubt you're going to be sent on plenty of dangerous missions in the days to come. Uh, understood? <sighs> Is something wrong? Not really. I'm just kind of jealous of them, I guess. He doesn't want to be doing any of this, too. I, I can definitely tell. <laughs> ah, poor Reen. All right. The first of two epilogues are done now. Very nice. Only one last one to go. <laughs> and then the game is done. But, like I said, this one will probably still take another stream still, too. Hey, it's places I'm familiar of. <laughs> nice. Wow, the train's moving. The whole game, the train wasn't even moving.
Yeah. Like, the first two Cold Steel games are good to start, uh, that I was told. But this is not, like, the first game in the series that's, like, that goes to the Trails of the Sky. That's, like, the first couple games in the, in the timeline, but... People say, like, these, this game, or this second game and the first game this, of this game is a good starting point, but then people say, branch off to the other ones before this, uh, the, uh, the, these games, before you go back to 3 and 4. Because it's a lot to take, because apparently a lot of stuff happens in 3 and 4 with a bunch of different characters and such. That's where, like, a bunch of characters are about to show up and everything like that, what I'm told. So, Edge knows more, or Edge and Ab know a bit more. Back at uh, Trista. Sorry about that, Valimar. Can't imagine it was a very pleasant trip for you, all bound up like that. It, it did not present, present the problem. problem. I will now enter an active state and allow the cannons to perform maintenance. Thanks. Well then, I'll leave him with you. Sure thing. We'll take good care of him. By the way, it's a real honor to be entrusted with the famous Ashen Knight. Yeah, he's got a bit of a mind of his own. <laughs> Welcome back, Green. Oh. You must be exhausted. Who's that? Not really. I barely did anything. Everything went off without a hitch, mostly thanks to Valimar's power. Ah, uh, Claire. Not to mention the planning of your people. <sighs> You're annoyed, I take it. By the way we do things. Not really. Regardless of the means, the war coming to a swift end was a good thing for everyone. As for what happened to Crossbell, I'm not in any position to talk. No, those aren't what bother me. I can buy that you had no idea Rufus was an iron blood. But did you really not know about my real father? Uh. I didn't have any hard evidence, but I did suspect that might be the case. You just seemed somehow similar. The air about you, your facial features. I can't believe I trusted her. <laughs> I was always puzzled by how fascinated he was by your class as well. I thought she could be trusted too. I see. Excuse me then. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just say the end. That's the oh. only reason I worried about you, you know. Hmm. Not that I could possibly tell him that. I'll say, like, the ending, like, the main finale ending for this game, I will say that it's like a big fucking plot twist. She only goes downhill from here. That's a shame. <sighs> I'm behaving like such a child. It's hard to believe it's been a whole month since I was here last. Guess it didn't snow after all. <sighs> it's not like the excitement of that day has faded away or anything. So why? Why do I feel so cold? Huh? Oh, we know flowers. Welcome back, Reen. Oh, is that Lisa? Oh, it's everybody. Huh? Welcome back. <laughs> what are you doing standing there? <laughs> It's not like you to wallow in nostalgia. Did the flowers get to you? You all came to see me. <laughs> they started budding just yesterday. Should be in full bloom in about a week. <laughs> guess some of them couldn't wait. I guess not. It's good to be back, you guys. 
Agreed. We're all so happy to see you again. You must be wiped out after all you did, though. I'm fine, actually. It really wasn't that tough. Still, did all of you really come out here just to welcome me back? <laughs> Why wouldn't we? It's not like we second years have any lessons to worry about this time of year. Besides, I already had to come out here because of Valimar, so I figured I might as well say hi to you, too. Technically, the first years are supposed to be in class right now, but I turned it into a self-study period instead. Mm. And that was only possible because everyone's favorite captain told us exactly when you'd be arriving. <sighs> really now? It's nice to see you here too, Celine. Well, don't think I went out of my way to be here or anything. But given the way that you were acting when you left, I was a little worried about you. I mean, uh, I wasn't. Not at all. The <laughs> <laughs> Still, thanks everyone. So what now? Going back to your dorm for some well-earned rest? We can carry your stuff for you if you want. No, no, I'm fine. You said that class is in session right now, right? I'm a student, so I might as well attend. I mean, I have been absent for a month now. Wow, you're no fun at all. I was hoping we could skip the whole class thing and get to the welcome back party. Mm. I like that idea. That sounds fun. Come on, it's party time! Am I the only one who cares about studying at this school? <laughs> I think so. I think you and uh, Emma are... <laughs> Well, maybe we can hold the party tonight instead. <laughs> In that case, we should probably head back to the academy. Man, it's kind of like old times again. Like, it's the first game all over again. In a sense. Oh, and I know I said it before, but it's wonderful to have you back. Thanks. I'm happy to be back, Elisa. Winter's End. Epilogue. The final actual chapter in the game, even though it's kind of post-actual game. I'll never forget those days. The final weeks we spent together as a class are like dazzling jewels forever etched into my memories. I cherished every last moment. I never wanted it to come to an end. But time stops for no one. The minutes and hours kept passing, and our days together were slowly coming to a close. After what happened, Balflame Palace soon returned to its original form. It was almost as if everything that took place there was some sort of dream. People's memories of that day started becoming vague. Many were convinced it was some kind of collective hallucination. That may have been in part a result of the chaotic days that followed, brought about by the Chancellor and Rufus. After the war, the entire country feared that Calvert would invade Crossbell and try to take it for its own. Using that to his advantage, Rufus quickly convinced the nobility to support him, pledged to cooperate with the Chancellor. And in January 1205, the combined forces of both Imperial and Provincial armies invaded Crossbell. Crossbell no longer possessed the weapon of mass destruction that had annihilated Gorelia Fortress. Thanks to that, the city was occupied in a mere day, with no bloodshed. Calvert was quick to react, sending countless airships to try and drive the Imperial forces out. However, between Rufus's leadership and the combined might of the tanks and soldats under his command, they were quickly repelled. As for me, Chancellor Osborne's words became the reality. Valimar and I were heralded as those responsible for Heimdall's liberation. And as the purported hero to the nation, I'd received and accepted a request in February to back up our forces in Crossbell. It was there that I found myself suddenly leading numerous soldats and fighting off the Republican army. 
Before I knew it, everyone around me was referring to me as the Ashen Chevalier. Time kept flowing, and mid-March came. The month in which Class 7 would finally say their goodbyes. Aw, man. <laughs> it's an end of uh, the first half of the arc of this series. And that brings our history review right up to the dawn of the modern era. <laughs> Second period history. Oh, boy. <laughs> Next week, we'll be covering the 50-year period from the Orville Revolution up to the present day. We're blowing through this material a lot more quickly than I would otherwise, so try to keep up with your reading. Oh, and Emma and Machias, if you see anyone struggling, try to help them out, okay? I fully intend to. Leave it to us. I've got plenty of good reference books on the subject. That would be very helpful, actually. Sounds like a pain. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I do happen to have a few gaps in my knowledge of the revolution. I should be able to help out with the technological side of things if you guys need it. I'm guessing we're gonna run into that Schmidt guy's name a lot, too. Well, he was one of the three leading disciples of Professor Epstein, so yeah. <laughs> It'll feel strange seeing his name in textbooks, knowing how he is in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of amazing to think we were able to meet him, though. Third period. Mathematics. <laughs> Alright, like I said, I'll be giving a quiz next week on everything we've covered up to now. Which means it'll cover quadratic functions, factorizations, sets, logic, and probability. Oh, and if I'm feeling really mean, there might be a little calculus in there. So, uh, study for this one. Mm. That's a lot. I'm getting depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> Sounds more like he's reciting some kind of curse. It is all material we've covered in class before, you know. <laughs> It'll be worth going over the most basic formulas at the very least. Politics and ethics, fourth period. That sums up this lecture on the structure of the stock market in Erebonia. Next week, we will hurry on and study unemployment and inflation problems. You're also going to be taking part in a debate on those issues. So make sure each of you are well prepared. Can we go back to math? No, because that would be a lot of cutscenes that to read through again. What kind of debate? A debate. It's when people are divided into groups for and against something, then they argue their viewpoints. Fifth period, art and music. After much consideration, I've decided we will use our remaining time to listen to and enjoy music from all manner of genres. Now that's my kind of class right there. <laughs> oh god, is the white-haired girl Morgana? Yes, yes. From famous classics to popular modern music, I've gathered records of all kinds for you to enjoy. I even managed to borrow music from a hot new genre like heaving metal, I believe <laughs> it's called. Heaving oh, metal. I wonder what that sounds like. <laughs> oh, I love heaving metal. That's my favorite. <laughs> Good old heaving metal. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, guys. Homeroom. You poor kids must be exhausted. Feels like all your other instructors are dead set on cramming your brains with as much material as humanly possible. Mm. I want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> you said it. Still, this is exactly how we wanted it. Right. They're doing it for our sake, so I don't mind it so much. There's no way we could cover everything in class. 
so it's sweet of them to give us the bullet points while they still can. It's paying off for us in the long run, yeah, so we owe them a lot. Forcing you to try and keep up with us is a little unfair of us, though. Yeah, you're gonna have to do all of this again next year. Are you sure you're fine with this arrangement? Of course. This is to my benefit, too. If I get all of this crammed into my head now, maybe I can even come out on top on next year's midterms. Well... That's some confidence. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you actually did it, though. He did come in seventh in the midterms this year, remember? <laughs> I'm probably just being too optimistic. Nah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Guess we'll know for sure next year. <laughs> so yeah, on top of everything else, Reen gets held back a year. Yeah, that kind of sucks for him. Anyway, tomorrow's the day you've all been waiting for. Your next free day. Yeah, I love free days. <laughs> I know you've got enough schoolwork to choke a horse, but try to carve out a little time for your clubs and all that youthful jazz. The forecast for tomorrow is clear blue skies. Might be the perfect chance to sneak off and get into some ooh la la with that special someone. <laughs> what are you what are you referring to? You? <laughs> um the uh and truly, you teach us all by living your life as a shining counterexample. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true lifetime member of the Lonely Hearts Club, instructor. Ooh, damn. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know that there are plenty of guys who would do anything for a private lesson with yours truly. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I would honestly. <laughs> But if that many men are interested in you, how can you spend so much time drinking alone in your room? I think the polite thing to do here is just smile and nod. If you keep setting your sights on guys like Laura's dad, you might as well just buy a couple cats and get it over with. <laughs> Damn. It does seem like she's fighting an uphill battle to find a good match. Ah, just you wait, guys. In two weeks, when you see the hordes of chiseled, elegant gents draped over me, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Reigns with his nervous laugh, he's like, ah. <laughs> Please don't be me. Time really does fly. It's hard to believe our last free day is tomorrow. Yeah, it felt like we still had more time. <laughs> For me, it feels like it's been ages since I last had one. I suppose it would. Were you able to rest up at all while you were away? Not really. It was basically work, work, work the whole time. I did get taken into Crossbell City during what time off I did have. But I can't say I felt very comfortable there. I'm sure. Indeed. That must have been more painful than anything. To the people of Crossbell, we Erebonians are aggressors. I can hardly imagine they would welcome us with open arms. That doesn't sound like it'd stop Lecter from living it up over there, though. <laughs> he did take me to a casino once, actually. A casino? Pog? He won so much, he might as well have been cheating. Shocking. <laughs> it always feels like people who like gambling really like it, huh? Yeah, I know people. Some of them are in this chat. Not gonna, not gonna mention who they are though. <laughs> mm. So, does anyone have anything planned for our free day? Remember, it's the very last one, so make it count. We wouldn't want to end the day with any regrets. True enough. Although, I wonder if I'd end the day regretting that it has to end in the first place if we made it too much fun. I've got so much that I want to do, I'm not sure where to start. I know I want to attend practice, at least. Oh, same. I've got to go taste test some new dishes for the cooking club, plus Kirsch's has a new menu up, and... How many stomachs do you have? <laughs> Twenty! <laughs> that explains a lot. Will you be helping the student council tomorrow, Reen? That's the plan. 
It sounds like Toa will finish handing all her work over to the others today, but they're bound to be busy. That's so nostalgic. We get to help Toa again. So, I thought it'd be nice to take some of it off their hands, whether they like it or not. Ah, oh, Reen, ever the reliable gopher. <laughs> That's a very you response. <laughs> if there's anything we can help with, let us know, okay? Well, I guess I'd better get going. I could go straight to the student council room, but it's my first time back in over a month, so it would be nice to take a walk. Maybe I should go and see how Balamar's doing, too. Reen? Oh. Oh, Lisa. Hmm? What's up? Nothing, really. I just wanted to spend a little more time with you. Well, I'd love that too, but are you sure you can afford to? I mean, you have that meeting with the lacrosse club about tomorrow, don't you? I know, but that can wait. Right now, I just want to be with you for as long as I can. Please? Oh, well, how can I say no to a cute face like yours? Nothing would make me happier. It wasn't for long, but the two of them were happily, happy simply passing the time together. When the time came to part ways, they said their goodbyes just outside the classroom. Yeah, so I guess whoever you uh, you date in the game, that's uh, you, that's whoever would hang out with you there. Uh, classes are now over for the day, and you can walk around the academy grounds freely. After visiting the building accessible through the engineering building and speaking to Toa in the student council room, the story will advance. Obtained uh, traveling clothes. You can change a character's costume by selecting the costume you want to use in the costume part of the equip section of the camp menu. If no costume has been selected, the character's outfit will change automatically over the course of the story. Well, that's fine. I'll, I'll just leave it as default. Ah, the music. It's like old times again. We're in freaking uh, the academy doing all this stuff again. It's like the first game all over again, really. <laughs> All right, I just want to see what we have to do here. Um, once you've regained control, explore the school, speak to the following students, update. Oh, that's just update that. Okay, I'm not going to really bother about that. Um... Let's see. This is your set. No, no. Uh, when you've regained control, you will end up in your... Okay, so just do like the story stuff, I guess. Um, unless there's something very important I should do, then maybe I'll do that, but... I don't know. Doesn't seem like there's really much importance. It's just talking to a bunch of students just for uh, character stuff if you if you want that stuff. It's a bunch of extra stuff. I want to see Apps home. Oh yes, we need to go say hello to that. We haven't been there since the end of the first game. We should go say hello to that place actually. Right over here, right over here, and then you take your right right over here. There it is, right there. The good old old schoolhouse. <laughs> there it is, right there. I haven't seen this place in quite some time. <laughs> Can I go in it at all? Uh, the doors are firmly shut. Yeah, so we can't even go in there. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. <laughs> Wait. Hi there! I'm the old schoolhouse, and... I was the antagonist in the last game. Unfortunately, I didn't get much uh, screen time in this game. It was kind of lonely. I wish, uh, I wish, uh, somebody would, uh, you know, explore me! Well, unfortunately, I can't do that right now. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, okay, let me make sure, um, yeah, I checked over here for a second here. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so I don't know how much we'll get done for this part of the epilogue, but yeah, next stream for sure, we're, fi we're finishing this game. Next stream will definitely be the finale night of this game. 
Uh, was there anything here to buy? Let's see. Uh, have any... Oh, I do, actually. Man, I don't have no mirror anymore. That's crazy. <laughs> Grab that. Okay. Does everyone still have their stuff? Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, they still have their stuff, looks like. That's cool. So if I still look at my orb in it, so I still have everything? Ah, oh, yes, I still have everything. That's cool. Nice. It's cool to see. But I had more... I had definitely. I thought I had more uh, mirror than that. But I guess not. I did spend it all, I guess, technically. So, that's fair. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to all the uh, the main characters and we'll see what they're doing. Tomorrow's gonna be, uh, going to be Emily and Theresa's final days as members of the lacrosse club. Which means it's one of the last days we'll really get to spend t spend with or spend with them. We better make the most of it. He. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, upstairs real quickly here. Check what's going on in here. Uh, oh, <laughs> is Emma here? Sitting in the club room as the sun sets, reading and writing with Dorothy. I really love times like these. I hardly realize just how much until recently. Truth to behold. It's kind of sad that uh, to think that come next month this will be all, this will all be a memory. Indeed. Last times ever uh, walking around in the academy too. Oh, there's that Machius there. It's scary just how fast time how fast the time has gone. I'm sorry that I couldn't accept your request though. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. By the sound of it, there will be one chess club. Uh, there will be one chess club next year. Anyway, for both upper and class or lower class students to use. Live your life how you want to. I couldn't ask for anything else. Thank you. We're lucky to have been students here. Not only did we get great classmates, but we got great second years too. And yes, in, I'm including Crow. Ah, uh, Crow. My opinions on him have kind of changed now, after uh, everything that's gone on. Anybody on the roof here? Uh, salon is for exclusive use of nobility. Oh, no. Nothing's going on up there. I'll still meme on him, but... <laughs> my opinions on him as a whole have definitely changed with how this game went. Uh, just about the gymnasium over there. I'll go over there for a second. V over there? Yep, V's over here at the uh, the garden. Let's see. The new seeds I planted have finally started to sprout. It'll be a while before we get to see any flowers, though. I was hoping I'd actually have the chance to raise these ones myself, but I wasn't. Was it went, wasn't meant to be. Fishing. This spot looks perfect. Hell yeah, I gotta fish one last time. Huh. Of course we do. Of course we gotta fish one last time. Ooh, that's a new fish. That's a catch. All right. We'll get huh. here. Anything new in here? I feel like we've got that before. All right. Not bad. A warrior. <laughs> I hate it here. No, you don't. Not that's a, that's a lie. Huh. Ooh. A mud kippy? Not what I had in mind. Maybe not. Right. 
Not bad. Another fighter. All right, uh, go into the gymnasium here. Go talk to Laura. There she is. She's in here. Oh, might be in the swimming. Ah, there she is. She's over there. <laughs> then let our race begin. I expect nothing short of your best. Of course. It's a true joy to see the strides Monica's made uh, since the, uh, she first started swimming. Uh, people are like wa uh, pe people are like water, always shifting, always churning. Even uh, when they look calm on the surface, I have no doubt plenty was happening uh, beneath the surface for her. <laughs> Rickass watching the heck out of the stream. <laughs> Must be because there was another cat character in this game. Now they're invested. They're like, oh. That's a cat. It's like me for real, for real. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to talk to the horse. I owe nearly as much of the riding club this year as I do in our, to, our, to our class. Ta my time at Thor's wouldn't have been nearly as interesting if I hadn't joined. I consider myself lucky to have done so. I'm happy to hear that. Still, Reen, from what I understand, my brother owes you a lot for what you've done during your class day at Crossbow. I wouldn't say that. While I was there, I saw the extent of his political skill over and over again, and well, I feel like I o only now know just how much he's capable of. In both good ways and bad, I assume. I thought I knew him just like I thought I knew my father, but in the end, they were both strangers to me. Sorry, Yusus. Well, enough about me. I just wish we could have seen this duty as one of the Academy's directors and threw up to the end of the year, that's all. This year has been a hectic one, that much is sure. I just wish my brother could have seen his position as an Academy director through the end of it. Surely that was not what he wanted, though, Yusus. Alright, uh, second floor. Actually, let's go to the first floor for a second, because, uh, Sarah's over there. I'm gonna talk to her real quickly. Is she in here? Yep, there she is, right there. Well, you've been, uh, you've been back for three whole days now. Have people finally stopped hounding you with, qu with questions? Sounds like you hardly had a moment's peace at first. <laughs> well, everyone knew about where I'd been. The whole country knows. What with the Chronicle running these stories about me? I can't blame them for being curious. It's one of those things you'll probably just have to get used to, at least as long as you're a hero in the public eye. Don't think about it too much. Just be sure to make good use of tomorrow, both for yourself and for those who no longer can. Thanks, I will. Uh, wait, anything else I gotta say before I go? Alright, time to get back to work. I wanna get the, all this boring stuff done so I can get, so I can hit the town tomorrow. I should probably get in touch with Toval and Miles to check on a few things, too. Alright. Uh, head for the second floor here. Who's on this floor? Uh, Elliot, Milliam, and Gaius. Alright. Uh, see what they are. Probably in there uh, where they like to hang out. And yep, there's uh, Milliam and Helmack. <laughs> Weird to think that tomorrow's the last free day of the year. I'm gonna have to go... EXPLORING! It is true. Milliam is best character. <laughs> Better start drawing a map and planning out the day now. I don't, do, I don't want to waste a single hour. If I only had... I only got one last day to, to explore, I'm gonna make sure I see everything there is to see around here. Starting with that cool-sounding flea market they are doing in the auditorium. Milliam likes to explore. <laughs> Alright, where's Gaius? There he is, right here. I wasn't able to figure out why a painting felt so empty to me this past month. Well, not until you come- not until you came back. All of a sudden, that emptiness is completely gone. Cruelly, I like your company. Clara always- always says that paintings reflect the heart of their artist. 
it's it looks like she was absolutely right. Things really hard to ref do, uh, really do reflect the heart of the artist. Clara definitely knows her stuff, but if I can only paint when you're around, I'm not. I'm in for some rough times. It's the computer room. Yeah, Let's keep going there. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, the music room. There he is. There's Elliot. You know about the flea market tomorrow, right? Well, the Wind Orchestra is going to be performing on the auditorium stage in the afternoon for a little background music. <laughs> it's just one fun thing after another at Thor's, isn't it? We'll be performing for the flea market tomorrow. I can hardly wait. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> Alright, I think we've talked to everybody there. So I think we will continue story here. And uh, we'll talk to uh, our precious uh, cinnamon roll, a.k.a. Uh, Toa. And she's at the, uh, of course, she's right over here. At the uh, student, at the student union building. And she's at the, at her normal place, I'm pretty sure. Yep, right here at the student council room. Hmm, sounds like someone's talking inside. Oh, and about next year's entrance ceremony. Uh, uh don't worry, I got all the arrangements sorted out. Excuse me, could you stamp this for me, please? Hold on just a sec, I'll be right there. She sounds really busy. I should probably go and check in on the engineering building first. Ah, okay, so we'll go there then. To the engineering building we go, then! Alright. Which is right over here. Oh! Hey there, Rain. Ooh, look at that bike! Looks like someone's done with class for the day. Yep. Just got out. Wait, is that? Yep, Angie's brand new bike. Looks better than the one that she used to use. We started building it for you, but then we had a change of heart. <laughs> I just couldn't tear you away from your current ride after you'd grown so attached. Now I feel bad, considering I pretty much did just that to you. Your new one's got a pretty cool design, though. Don't get too jealous. The specs are pretty much the same as yours. Well. Before Angie tunes it up and adds her custom gear for distance riding, that is. But distance riding would mean... You're planning on going off on some big journey, aren't you? Ten points, Doreen. I just felt like it was time for me to go out and see the world for myself. My martial arts teacher did the same thing once, so I'm sure it'll be a valuable experience for me. The plan for now is to travel through the entirety of Zamiria. That's... Not a very specific plan, and a pretty sizable journey. You can say that again. I have no idea where she finds the energy. Oh, really now? Your plan to visit the continent's most famous engineering factories is pretty much exactly the same thing. <laughs> you really think so? I take it you'll be leaving Erebonia for a while too, George? Seems that way. First stops the Burl and ZCF. Always wanted to see it. After that, I got my heart set on a trip to the Epstein Foundation over in Le Mans State. But while I'm at it, I think it'd be nice to pay a visit to the Vern Company in Calvert, too. Will you even be able to get into Calvert at this point? Hey, <laughs> I didn't say it'd be easy, but I think I can pull some strings. The real reason for this trip is to figure out what I can do as an engineer to help smooth over our international relations. Meeting the continent's finest engineers and discussing things with them should really help get the ball rolling on that. You thought that far ahead. That's really admirable. I hope you can find a way to make that happen. Even though I feel kind of hypocritical saying that, as someone who participated in the war. Don't beat yourself up over it, Reen. You have nothing to be ashamed of. That was your only option, given the way the Chancellor set things up. Your actions actually helped us avoid an even longer, more brutal war. But... Angie's right. You played a role that no one else could have. 
Just think, if things kept going the way they were going, we could have been at war with all of Crossbell. I don't even want to imagine the number of lives that would have been lost if you hadn't stepped in the way you did. Of course, us telling you whether or not you should feel guilty doesn't matter. It all comes down to you facing your own feelings over what you did. But there's one thing we'd like you to remember as you do. You're not alone, Rain. You've got friends who understand why you did what you did. Sometimes, I wonder how I was lucky enough to get such good ones. Thanks, you guys. This really helps. <laughs> don't mention it. On a completely different note, why don't you pay Valimar a visit while you're here? He spared no expense making sure he'd be nice and cozy in there. I think I will. But not to discredit your coziness efforts or anything, but he seems fine no matter where I leave him. <laughs> well, aren't you a sweet chevalier? Mm. Maybe I'll check in on him in a bit too. Right. We'll check out uh, Valimar. Make your way to the hangar. Sure. I don't think we've ever been able to go out this way before. So it's kind of neat. Hey, Valimar. How you holding up? Relatively comfortably. My ability to self-repair means that maintenance is not mandatory, but I expect it will increase my operating efficiency. Glad to hear it. This is going to be our new home base for the time being, so you can get in as much maintenance as you need. I'm gonna need you a lot in the days ahead, Valimar. I will strive to meet your expectations. Uh, something wrong? Not as such. I thought I sensed something unusual, but it must have been my imagination. Hmm? You really are getting to be scarily human these days, you know? Yeah. What was it you sensed, though? A person? I am unsure. It, it may have, have simply been a fluctuation in the earth things below us. us. Similar fluctuations are hardly abnormal. Well, if you don't think it's anything worth worrying about, I'll try and put it out of my mind. If you sense anything strange in the future, though, let me know, okay? You can tell me... telepathically was the word, right? Indeed. I shall use it to inform you should I sense anything is amiss. Okay, cool. Neat. <laughs> anything else he has to say? Oh, let's find out here. Be at ease, Reen. I shall inform you of impending danger should anything be amiss. This is an ideal opportunity for you to rest and recover from your missions. Use it as you see fit. Time is valuable. Thing which cannot be reversed. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. I'll try to take it easy. You didn't thank me. Cutting down. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Oh, my, my apologies. <laughs> yeah, I keep I keep doing that voice for him whenever he's on screen. <laughs> Alright, uh, now we can go and say hi to Toa. She's probably not busy anymore. I have to give her her head pets. <laughs> Alright. I can't hear anyone talking now. I guess that meeting must be finished. Maybe I'll be able to see her now. I owe her three? Okay. I'll knock it. There's definitely someone in there, but there's no response. Oh, I know. Excuse me, I'm coming in. Aww. <sighs> it's like that one time we ran into her when she was sleeping. <laughs> yep, I knew it. Yep. But you know what? We'll quickly give her her head pats real quickly, because we haven't done it in quite some time. Because, I'll be honest, she's probably best girl in the game. 
No wonder she fell asleep. She must have been really busy getting everything sorted out for the spring. <laughs> Makes me remember finding her like this over in the computer room. Mm -hmm. From the first game. Oh, right. I probably shouldn't look too much or she'll get mad when she wakes up. Oh yeah, true, true, true. permission. I did knock, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault for dozing off like this. <sighs> Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? Mm. I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. I, uh, I did try to look as little as possible. Well, if you say so. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're not looking too well. No, I'm fine. Maybe the light streaming in through the window is making me look off color? I feel fine, really. Uh. Nah, she knows. She knows there's something's up with you, Irene. Come with me. Um... W what's this all about? I know that you're a boy and all. And I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. No, I probably shouldn't even call you a boy anymore. You're a grown man now. But... That doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way. Okay? If it gets too much, it's alright to sit down and let it all out. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. It's okay, Reen. <gasps> I'm so sorry. <sighs> Aww. I'm so, so sorry. I promised I'd bring him back. I promised I'd make him graduate with you. But I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And you let all of us know how he really felt too. So, don't get so worked up about it. Okay? Aww. I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to see me like that. <laughs> well, I guess we're even then. Not like I jump for joy every time you catch me sleeping. Mm. <laughs> Have you finished getting everything ready for the next student council now, by the way? Yep. My days of being president are almost done. The first years taking over are really smart, though. I barely had to teach a thing in the end. Still, it must have been hard work getting through it all. You're going on a tour of various NGOs after graduation, right? Yep. The plan's to take a year to visit NGOs in lots of different fields. Politics, economics, engineering, medicine. After that, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably join either the army or something related to the government, I suppose. Well, I'm pretty sure they'd both love to have you. There's no chance either one would say no to you. Especially since taking a year off hasn't made them any less determined to recruit you. After all you did with commanding the courageous, it's no wonder you're so in demand. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I did anything special, really. No, oh, you did. Still, I feel like it'd be best in the long run for me to see the world from a variety of different perspectives. I don't know what path I'll choose, but I want to step onto it with a firm decision on how things should be. I think that 
it's the best thing I can do for this country's future. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little over dramatic here, though. Not at all. After how much you've done for this academy, I can only imagine how much you could do for this country. Just try not to overwork yourself, okay? Yes, you overwork yourself too much. <laughs> what what do Isabel and Toa have in, in common? They are workaholics and they need to rest sometimes. We're with you all the way, but we will always worry, you know? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? I mean, I'm happy you did, but... Oh, I'd completely forgotten, too. I just came to ask if there was anything I could do to help tomorrow, seeing as it's another free day. But... You've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... That's all the more reason I want to spend tomorrow's free day the same way I spent all of the others. It wouldn't feel like our final free day is Class 7 if it were any different. Well... If you say so... Okay! I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. Mm. And thanks for offering. Aww. <laughs> what a wholesome person. <laughs> uh, Green. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's all the class. Hey guys, didn't expect to run into you. <laughs> yeah, crazy coincidence, huh? Are you heading back to the dormitory, too? That was the idea. Uh, why, don't, uh, why don't we all head back together, then? Sounds like a good idea. It's nice seeing the flowers as they start to bloom. Yeah, I know you, I know you said earlier they'd be in full bloom in a week. I'm thinking it'll be uh, closer to the end of the month, personally. Just in time for the welcoming ceremony. The new students will be able to begin their academic lives here, surrounded by Lino flowers, just as we did. How wonderful. Uh, you all known each other since your first day here, right? That's right. Nobody else started part way through the year like you did. But back then, I never could have imagined we'd get along this well. We got off to kind of a rocky start. <laughs> You're telling me. Especially Machias and Eusis. <laughs> ah yes, the good old bromance. For what it's worth, I I don't I do regret it with the way I behaved back then. It's not exactly something I'm terribly proud of. Oh, oh, think nothing of it. Immaturity too. That makes fools of even the best of us at times. Thanks, I... Hold on. What's with that expression? You weren't exactly standing on the moral high ground either. I would have, have had such a, a much of a reason to behave the way I did if you hadn't kept looking down my nose at me. Hi, uh, did you hear me? Or did you not hear me say, best of us? <laughs> it was... It was hell on all of us at the start, at the time, but it's all just a fond memory now. And I suppose the same could be said about your your and Reen's little incident at the start of the year, couldn't it? Ugh! Just had to bring that up, didn't you? I should have seen that coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that happened. Ooh, little incidents are my favorite. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> well. Don't you dare! She's the last person who needs to know! <laughs> yeah, she'll tell everybody in the whole world what happened. Even strangers on the street. <laughs> My first day really was full of surprises. Yeah, I can't imagine too many teachers welcome their students by dropping them through a hole in the floor. But true. She pressed the button and we all fell through a floor. <laughs> and then we had to go through an entire dungeon. Even out having a, f a fight, uh, even having the fight of Gargoyle on the way out, that's a pretty memorable start to, to a school year. That Gargoyle proved to be quite the opponent, too. I like how we're getting recaps at the start of the first game. <laughs> I'll say, and when we finally managed to pull together and defeat it, she just casually drops in like nothing happened. 
It's like she was, was lying in wait, uh, lying in the wait the whole time, watching and waiting for her chance to strike. That's exactly what she was doing. Still, as exhausting and unusual as it was, that was how our class began. I'm pretty sure it's burned into all of our memories at this point. How could it not be? I had no doubt about that. Even so, I'm sure it's one of the memories that I'll cherish decades into the future. Aww, now you've got me all jealous. Now it's my turn to do something crazy to make some super memorable memories too. Don't you dare. I dread to imagine what she's thinking when she says something crazy. <laughs> On a hopefully unrelated note, what are we all doing for dinner tonight? Hmm. I only planned on getting something over at, at Krishi's, but if anyone has any better ideas... I think it may be a good idea to make something up for ourselves. If we divide up the work between us, I'm sure our meal will have quite a bit of variety too. That does sound nice. My cooking skills were in danger of getting rusty too. No objections here. Well, unless anyone has what they are need already, then I think it's time to split up. We probably got a lot to buy, so. That won't be necessary. No. Oh! Is that Sharon? Oh yeah, it is. It's our number one maid. Sharon. What reason could you possibly have <laughs> for being here? <laughs> The chairman gave me her permission to return to my former position as your dormitory's caretaker. Well, how nice of her. Which means I am here to serve you all once more. There may only be a short time left until the end of the year, but I'll make sure you want for nothing during it. I've already started preparing your evening meal, so there's no need to go out and buy anything. Look at that, she's already on top of things. That's crazy. Oh, well, how about that? I'm fine with this. We will gladly accept your offer. <laughs> Sharon's cooking's better than whatever grub we could wrestle up together anyway. How do you manage to get permission from Mother in the first place, though? Weren't you helping to rebuild the Rhineford Group? I thought the company was getting so many orders in, it was struggling to keep up! Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, everything is back in order. He and the Chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he got back. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mm. So the former and current chairman make quite a team, I see. Boy, I'm starving. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting warmer, it's just about time for peak beer season. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? Oh, why are you here? <laughs> uh to see you too, Lady Sarah. I brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines if you'd like a snack to accompany your beer. Would you like them alongside your dinner? Uh, damn it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this. You know, considering her affiliation. I'm guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Though, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Sharon from doing what she wants. <laughs> True. My legs falling asleep, my cat won't move. Oof. <laughs> I know that feel. Not without, not, not not with a cat though. <laughs> with a with a doggo. Whew! I think I might have eaten too much. It's been so long since we last had Sharon's cooking. She hasn't lost her touch. None of it feels heavy on my stomach at all. Well, that's all my work done for the day. Maybe I should go see how everyone else is doing. 
You can explore Class 7's dorms on the night before the night before each free day. Be aware, however, that the story will progress should you return to Reen's room. Ah, uh, this is nostalgic. We get to hang around around the dorms and to talk to everybody again. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, we'll start off with uh, everyone uh, on this floor here. Uh, we can start off with the best boy. <laughs> There's so much exploring in this game. Apparition likes this series. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I've said, too. It's crazy. He likes these games that require a lot of it. It's amazing. <laughs> hey, Elliot. Taking care of your violin? Yeah. It's taken care of me over the past year, so why not return the favor? <laughs> we, have to, we have to go talk to Elliot. It's, it's Taka's son. I'm actually planning on giving a few of them to the Academy before I go. Just to make sure next year's first years have something to practice with. That's really generous, and sure to make a lot of people happy. And you'll finally be heading off to a music academy, just like you always wanted. Hey, that's awesome. Glad that he's get to, he gets to go to one. I bet they'll push you pretty hard over there, too. I don't doubt it. I'm going to need to be all music all the time if I want to stand a chance at keeping up. Though, to be honest, after all the time I've spent here, I don't really want my life to be music. Oh, thank you, Paladin, for the raid. Actually, I didn't even know you went streaming. Uh, you get a Caspian in the chat for Paladin. I'll be very, very much appreciated there. <laughs> I love it, obviously, but to be a balanced person, I want to have a bit more variety in my life, like I had here at the Academy. For one thing, I don't want to get too rusty with my Orbal staff. Good to hear. I hope everything works out for you. Thanks. Me too. Uh... Hmm? No, it's nothing. Either way, Heimdall and Trista are really close, so don't be a stranger, okay? I know you're gonna have tons of work to get through between your classes and your missions, but... Don't worry, I'll make time. I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to see each other. There's still a ton of Heimdall I haven't seen, too. You'll have to show me around next time I make it over there. You bet. Hmm. Yeah, I hope the stream was good. <laughs> we'll be close to being done for tonight soon here, too. But hopefully uh, Zelda went well. Yona and, her, and my friends over at the Music Academy really helped me out with the work I needed to enroll there. It'd be great, uh, great to practice with them again. <laughs> Between tomorrow's flea market and the chance to play it my old friend with my old friends, I've got to make sure I'm up, I'm up, I'm up to stuff or up to snuff. <laughs> All right, hello, Machius. Hey, Machius, working hard or hard? <laughs> I'll stop you right there. Of course, I'm hard at work. Just look at the size of this book. That's a big book. If I can't internalize as much of it as possible while I'm here, I'm doomed to failure from the start. And this is one of your new textbooks? Man, Heimdall's political academies don't mess around, do they? You'll be the youngest person there, right? Most likely. I'd normally need to have graduated from Thor's with a bit more experience under my belt to have gotten in. There are a few Thor's grads there already, though. They take some every year. And as you might imagine, the recent political upheaval has the place swarming with applicants this year. The entrance exam was hard enough on its own, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Can't say I envy you. Still, I know you're going to be just fine. You're so smart that you can handle any subject they throw at you. Growing up with your dad should give you a leg up on the politics, too. Yeah, no pressure there. Honestly, there are times when I think diving into things head first like this is a giant mistake. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's just... I know we're probably going to both be really busy with our own lives come spring. But let's make time to have lunch together once in a while or something. Okay? Oh, I'll make sure to. Make sure not to. <laughs> I'm kidding. The game will probably make me have to. Studying is all well and good, but even I need a change of pace every now and again. <laughs> I think that can be arranged. The train from here to Heimdall only takes a half hour. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't hang out sometimes. Then it's a date. <laughs> That's what I was say. I'm still amazed I managed to get into the academy in the first place. I probably expected to fail, to be honest. But getting in all a bless, uh, get, but getting in at all is a blessing. So I'm going to work as hard as I can to make 
the most of it out of it. Of course, I'm not the only one who will be swamped next year. Both of us will have to be careful not to burn ourselves out. For sure, for sure. Is that Elliot's? Yeah, this is Elliot's room. All right. There's Eusis here. Something on your mind, Eusis? For the first time in a long time, no. I'm just taking a short break. <sighs> Looking over an endless sea of documents can be rather tiring on the eyes. Oh, are those the tax reports you mentioned? Ordinarily, this would be my father's work, but His Majesty has yet to decide his fate. Rufus hasn't so much as glanced in Berea Hard's direction since he took his new job in Crossbell, either. As such, the task falls to me. Man, I knew everyone in our class had it pretty rough right now. But you've got it roughest, no contest. <laughs> if my ego had its way, I would boast that filling in for my father is a simple and mundane task. But on top of the paperwork, I'll need to manage the provincial army and oversee the province as a whole. Then there's the matter of keeping the most stubborn of the nobility in check. I don't expect the first six months to be pleasant. <laughs> the fact that you're already thinking six months ahead is pretty impressive as it is. Standing in for Duke Alperea like that must take some real confidence. I know you'll manage, though. <laughs> that much is obvious. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's nothing. In the days to come, more people will be relying on you than ever before. But no matter who does so or what they ask, do not lose your pride as a noble. Act independently, your head held high. Maintain your pride and your autonomy, and I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks. I promise I will. I'll hold you to that. first six months back in Bereahar will likely be en entirely consumed by work. While I do have some uh, trepidation about fulfilling my father and father's duties, I have no choice but to try. I am a son of the House of Alberea, after all. Hm. Alright, now I gotta go talk to the man whose wife who is the wind. <laughs> Are you finishing up your painting, guys? Yeah, this is my last one. I want to make sure I'm completely satisfied with it before declaring it finished. That's understandable. You're going to keep painting once you're back at home though, right? Well, I don't know how much time I'll have to set aside for it, but I intend to keep working on it, bit by bit. There is growing reason for concern in Calvert to the east of the Highlands. But all in all, things are more peaceful now than they were. I should be able to focus on painting my magnum opus. Oh, is it going to be ignored? If anyone can make a masterpiece of the Highlands, it'd be you. <laughs> that wouldn't be such a bad idea. But actually, I was intending to paint a picture of the Academy, its students, and the courageous. You mean... Now you're getting it. I want to capture the day we liberated the Academy. And once I've finished it, I fully intend to return to Erebonia with it in hand. What better way to forever memorialize this place as my second homeland? Man, you really are amazing. Well, if you ever need reference materials, you know who to call. I can get pictures of anything you might need and send them over. I know you're talented, but that's a lot to paint off of just your memory. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Hmm. Uh, I'll be taking this painting back home with me once I'm done. It'll be nice to have a tangible memento of the time at this academy. And I hope I'll get everyone back home the courage they need to keep going. Alright, that is everybody uh, in the... in there. Oh, let's check this room here for a second. Here's Crow's room. I think I'll stay away from it for now. I feel more like going around and talking to everyone. That's fair. Alright, uh, let's head down here. Oh, actually, they're upstairs. Yeah, yeah, the, the girls' uh, dorms are up one more floor. That's right. Alright, there we go. Let's start with this one. It's Laura, alright. <laughs> what are you looking at, Laura? <laughs> 
It's you, Reen. I'll show you. Oh, you and Monica got a picture taken together? You both look so happy in it, too. That we do. Someone in the photography club kindly offered to take it for us. I thought it would make a fine souvenir of my time at the academy to take away with me. My mirror's on that being Rex. Oh Ooh. well, it's a nice photo, and he got permission. <laughs> for once. Oh no. I never expected you and Monica would get so close. Between her and Fee, you kind of have a knack for becoming the best of friends with the ones you bump heads with first. <laughs> Please, don't say that. I'm truly grateful to both of them for broadening my horizons. Meeting them enriched my life in ways I could have never pictured before. Truly, coming to this academy was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I didn't realize we'd made such a big impact on you. <laughs> well, you did. And don't mind me, I'm just feeling a little emotional. This isn't like me at all now, is it? There's no harm in a few tears, I suppose. This will be my last time I can relax before my training, after all. Yeah. You're not gonna get much rest in with the training you've got lined up. I won't be learning the Arsade School's advanced techniques with training any less intense. I have no idea where we'll be conducting said training, but it will no doubt be as perilous as it will be dangerous. I had to spend a month in the Isengard range as part of mine. I don't think a month's going to cut it with what you're doing, though. It goes way beyond your average techniques. Indeed. I'm anticipating that it will take at least half a year, if not more. Father's going to be with me. But with things as difficult as they are, part of me feels guilty for taking up his time. I don't know about that. I think him agreeing to train with you shows how much faith he has in your potential. Besides, in a lot of ways, this might be the best time to do it. That is very true. Oh. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. Regardless, I'd love to come and visit you should the opportunity present itself. And if it does, I'd like to formally request a duel with you to test how much the two of us have grown. Well, if you have domination, Court Sonya, you might win. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. We both know who's going to win that duel. But your invitation is all the motivation I need to get plenty of training in myself. And have you beating me too badly? I hope you will. Some would say, Laura, that you have new horizons. Yep. <laughs> I don't have a single regret about attending this academy. No matter how hard the training before me may be, I'm sure I'll be able to pull through. Especially with the lessons I learned here, guide, uh, I learned here guiding with guiding me through. Let's cross here. Oh, Emma. All right. Emma, what are you doing? Oh, hi there, Reen. Well, Dorothy and I decided that we're going to put together one final collection of stories as a club. Since then, I've been working on a story for the students who will join the club next year. Oh, that sounds neat. Wait, if Dorothy's involved... Uh, the content is totally appropriate for children of all ages, uh, I assure you. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, better, because I was hoping that... Uh, I was wondering if maybe you two were writing, like, some more yaoi. Admittedly... Dorothy's own story sounds like it'll have a few of her favorite literary elements, but all in moderation, she assured. Mm. <laughs> Not that I'm one to judge. What kind of story are you writing? It's supposed to be a fairy tale. I can't pretend it's 100% original, though. I borrowed some elements from a story I heard as a child. It's going to star a golden unicorn and a pure-hearted maiden... Or at least, that's the plan. Sounds interesting. Can I give it a read when you're done? I'll still be here next year, so if I see any first years who seem like they'd enjoy it, I'll recommend it to them. <laughs> I have to confess, I'm a little embarrassed to let anyone see it. But the whole point of a story is to be read. Hmm. Something wrong? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm sure you and Valimar will be just fine without my help now. 
Still, if you do need anything, don't hesitate to get in touch. It may take some time to contact me, though. You'll need to use a method that isn't exactly conventional. Yeah, I could have guessed as much. I mean, I theoretically get how to use runes to communicate since you told me, but I have no idea how it actually works. I'd be shocked if you did. It's pretty far removed from the horrible technology you're used to. It has its benefits, though. For one, you'll be able to reach me no matter where I might be. So don't ever hesitate to drop me a line if you need my assistance. I'd always be happy to hear from you. All right. I'm sure I'll give you a ring. Or a rune, I guess. Mm. I hope you end up being able to find Vita, too. Thank you. I wonder where she ended up. Uh, no matter where, where my search for Vita takes me, I will always be a member of Class 7. Living in the Academy won't change that. So if you ever need my help, I'll do everything I can to be there for you. And when my story is finished, I'll have I'll have to let you read it. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's go over here. Who's in this room? It's Fee! Alright. Hmm. Are those seeds you've got there? Yep, Adel gave them to me. They all came from the plants we grew in the gardening club. I'm just looking at what kinds there are here. Really? That's really nice of her. It's kind of like you can take everything you've achieved over the past year with you. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even going to join a club until Adel found me relaxing and invited me. But I guess it wasn't so bad. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll be sure to check on the gardening club every once in a while just to see how things are going. It would be a shame if all the plants you've spent so long looking after were to wither and die. It doesn't matter. Even if they do, they'll eventually bloom again somewhere else. Kind of like us. When you put it that way, I suppose you're right. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Hmm. This one and this one should be okay too. V gave Reen a handful of seeds. What are these for? They're the easiest ones to look after. You can try raising them if you want. Don't worry if they wilt or anything, though. When I've found the others from Zephyr, I'll come back and check if they're still blooming. If they are, you get a pat on the head. <laughs> hey, I thought the head rubbing was my job. But I'll give it my best shot. Everyone seems to have something on their mind when they when they are uh, lost in thought. My time with Class 7 has been really fun. The Guardian Club too. I only ended up coming here because Sarah forced me, and now I'm glad I did. Uh, glad she did. I don't even want to picture where my life would be would be if I hadn't. Probably in something very sketchy too. Elisa. Feeling sad about leaving the lacrosse club behind? Yeah, I was really into it by the end. I think it'll make for some wonderful memories to look back fondly on in the years to come. I can imagine. Does that mean you're not going to keep up with lacrosse and Ruer? I don't think I'll be able to. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any local teams I could join. And even if there were, I doubt I'd have the time for sports. Just thinking about how busy I'll be makes my head spin. No, no, scratch that. Being busy is all the more reason I need to make time for exercise. There you go. Oh, thank you, Spencer, for the raid as well. Can we get a uh, command in the chat for Spencer as well? Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Helping out with the Reinford group sounds like a recipe for one all-nighter after another. <laughs> Not just yet, actually. I won't be helping until Grandfather shows me the ropes. As I am now, I doubt I'll be able to do much at all in the way of rebuilding the company. But you can bet I'll leave Mother speechless with how much progress I've made in a year's time. <laughs> I'm sure you can if you put your mind to it. 
And I know Sharon will always be willing to help you out if you need her. She probably would, but then she'd just tell everything she did to Mother. Mm. Elisa. I don't really care what happens to the Reinford group. I don't even want to go back to Ruwer. All I want to do is stay here with you. Elisa. We've talked about this. The best thing for the two of us now is to go our separate ways. You only get one life, so you've got to make the most of it. We shouldn't feel obligated to give that up for someone else's sake. That's as true for us as it is for the rest of our classmates. I know. I just hate that it has to be this way. But with half the company's directors now gone, the group is now much weaker than it was before. Everyone's saying we should be making more weapons than ever, but the company is in no position to do something like that. Mother and Grandfather might be skilled, but even they aren't skilled enough to go against the changing times. As their family, I feel like I should be right there supporting them. No, scratch that again. It's not because I feel like I have to. I want to support them. Then that's what you should do. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Even if we're apart, I'll always be thinking of you. Not a single day will pass where I won't be thinking about that sweet, hard-working girl I fell in love with. Maureen, that's so sweet. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so worked up. I'm really happy, though. Me too. Still, let's make the most of our free day tomorrow. It's the last one we'll ever have as a class. The last thing any of us want to do is end it with regrets. Yeah, you're right. I'll probably spend most of it with the lacrosse club while you're out helping the student council. But I want it to be something we'll always remember. Like I said, she gets too much hate. Yeah, she gets a bad first impression, but yeah, she's a... She's way, she gets way better as the first game goes on, and then, yeah, she's very good in this game, too. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm sure it'll be a tough at first, but I'm gonna try to make a real difference in the in the group. Besides, it'll give me a chance to show Mother up, so how could I refuse? Let's make the most of our last free day, and, um, hopefully we'll get to spend a little more time together, too. <laughs> I'll be sure to make that happen. Alright. Uh, who's in here? Oh, that was P. Okay. Uh, this way. Got, uh, two folks in here. Right. Milliam! <laughs> the room with all of her plushies in there. But yeah, before we talk to her, yeah, I hope uh, Arceus went well. <laughs> What's up, Milliam? Oh, hey, Reen. It's nothing. I just feel kind of down. Down? Yeah, I was just thinking about how everyone was at dinner time. Sharon's food was really nice, and we all seemed like we were having a good time. But I don't know. It was weird, like we were all upset but didn't want to let it show. It's been bugging me. Oh, so that's why. You really have grown so much these past few months. And not just mentally. I think you've gotten a little taller, too. <laughs> Maybe. About two rage or so? Judging by my specs, I'm not gonna get much taller than this, though. I'm mini million forever and ever. Mm. But you never know. Maybe I'll grow up to have boobies so big, I can use them as a shelf like Emma. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, William. Something wrong? Nah, not really. So, you've got a new mission starting next month, right? Yep, I've got to go see how things are over out west. Duke Cayenne's been arrested, but it sounds like things are still pretty nuts over there. Oh, but guess what? I might get to go out to Laboral and Rimiferia soon. What is it with you and blabbing classified information? <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> well, whatever. Just promise me you'll take care of yourself. 
be sure to keep in touch. I'll always be right there when you need me, okay? Righto, I promise. <laughs> that goes double for you, mister. If you need me to bust you out of a jam, just say the word. Hell yeah, I will always contact Milliam. She's good for backup. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be really busy with all of my intelligence division work once we're done here. But I'll never be too busy to help you out if the wind up the, uh, if you wind up in trouble. So there's no need for you to feel lonely, okay? <laughs> All right. Don't say bust. <laughs> you got like five shinies. Hey, nice grats on that. Ah, oh, there's Sarah. Hmm. Something on your mind, instructor? <laughs> you could say that. I've been mulling over how things are going to be come next month, but all this soul-searching is giving me a headache. Well, it'll probably feel strange being back with the guild for the first time in two years. And I bet they'll be glad to have you back. Things are probably going to be rough over there, even with you taking up the bracer life again. No doubts there. I can already see plenty of traveling abroad in my future after what happened over in Crossvale. And I imagine it'll keep getting harder and harder for us bracers to operate here, too. <laughs> What's with that sad puppy look? There's no reason for you to feel ashamed of what you've chosen to do. I'm proud to have a student like you who can stand up and make the tough choices life thrusts on us. Thanks, Instructor. I'll try to just grin and bear it for now. That a boy. Sticking it out through the hard times with a smile will put you on the fast track to becoming a great man. Just make sure you don't try to shoulder too much. All that'll do is turn you into a jaded grump. Everything in moderation, okay? Mm. Uh, thanks? I haven't joined the Intelligence Division, and I have no plans to. I'm gonna keep responding to their requests, but only if I'm comfortable doing what they're asking. And I can promise you I'll never do anything that would put me in conflict with the Guild or put Innocent's lives at risk. I don't know what the future will bring for me, that's the creed I want to stand by. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. No matter what happens, you'll always be my student. So go out there, live your life, and grow into such a heartthrob that I won't be able to take my eyes off you. <laughs> well, I'll try. Thanks, Miss Teacher. <laughs> I'm sure you're curious about what kind of man you'll be have, you'll have become in a couple of years. That's one of the questions that only time will answer, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Anyway, you've chosen your path. Now, all that's left is to walk it and see where it takes you. Indeed. Alright, uh, do I talk to um, anyone else down here at all? On the main floor? Make sure here. Celine. Oh, there you are. You look bored, Celine. I guess I am. My work's done at this point. I feel like I aged a few decades as soon as the war came to an end. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Feels a bit strange to be saying it after the fact, but you fought pretty well over in Crossbell. You've really mastered piloting Valimar. I'd like to think so anyway. I feel like I could pull off just about anything with him now. And to think, I couldn't do half as much with him when I was first starting out. You do realize you just admitted you were totally useless, right? Damn. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder if you're gonna be okay without us, you know? Valimar must have drawn the short straw to end up with a budding awakener like you. Thanks for worrying about me all the time, Celine. Excuse me, what makes you think I was worried about you? Mm. Just about everything. From what I can tell, you've always worried about me. Back in the beginning, when I didn't know anything about piloting, you were always there to guide me through our battles. I doubt I would have ever come this far if you didn't have my back. So, thank you. For all of it. <sighs> Why do you always have to be like this? There are parts of the legends passed down in the clan that not even Emma and I know about. But just bear this one thing in mind. Divine Knights have incredible power, 
and they can become devils just as easily as they can become gods. Don't worry, I know, and I won't forget. Anyone in my position needs to know the difference between right and wrong. I'm well aware of that. That's fine then. Anyway, good luck, I guess. If you really need it, I can always come and help out. Perfect. <laughs> we'll definitely probably need you. Not much more I can say other than keep on keeping on. If you ever need me, I'll be there to help you out. Perfect. Alright, and is Sharon around? Ah, there she is, right there. There's Sharon. Oh, good evening, Master Reen. I thought you had already retired for the evening. How would you like for me to put together some supper? I appreciate the offer, but I think I've eaten more than I should have as it is. Your cooking really is delicious, Sharon. I was starting to miss it after not having it for so long. <laughs> it was my pleasure to cook for all of you again, so I pulled out all the stops with this one. Seeing all of you happily indulging my handiwork always makes every second of preparation worth it. <laughs> Is something the matter, Master Reen? Oh, I was just thinking about how you haven't changed a bit. I'm not sure it's my place to ask, but is everything all right over at Ouroboros? I can't help but wonder after how things turned out. Vita seems really shocked. I'm afraid I haven't a clue. No word of what's been happening in the society has reached my ears since then. I have no idea where the second Anguis is now. Nor do I know what happened regarding the Phantasmal Blaze plan after the Chancellor declared he was taking it over. <sighs> and quite frankly, none of it is my concern. The answers won't change who I am, and it won't suddenly cause me to shift priorities. I am and always will be a proud maid of the Reinford family. Not because of the freedom we enforcers are granted, but because that is simply who I am. Much like how you being the Ashen Chevalier doesn't change how you are also a proud member of Class 7. <laughs> I suppose you're right. And no matter what happens to you in the future, never lose sight of who you really are. It's almost time for me to return to Ruhr. But should you ever need me again, I will gladly rush to your side. Awesome. You're OP, so thank you. Naturally, that includes your relationship with Lady Elisa. <laughs> I'll be rooting for the two of you. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Still, thank you. I'm glad you can stay here for a while longer. She always knew. <laughs> that's funny. Alright, I think that's everybody, I'm pretty sure. She's quite observant, yep. Very much so. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, uh, oh, I should probably talk to her one more time and see what she uh, says here. He, no matter what may happen, never lose sight of who you really are. Please know that I will always support you. However, no matter how far apart life takes us. That's good. The bond of Class 7 is still strong. Even if uh, Reen has to do things that are not really he, things he wants to do. They're willing to support him. That's that's pretty sweet. The worst kept secret in Erebonia. Yep. All right. I think we're good. I wonder if I should just hang out in my room until it's time to go to bed. Resting in your room will cause the main story to advance. Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing else to do, so we're good. I guess I'll turn the radio on. It'd be wild if Misty thumbs up on the radio. That'd be wild. In finance, nope. the annexation of Crossbell has seen shares in Erebonian companies increase at an exponential rate across the board. And despite the Reinford Group announcing sweeping changes to its board members, its strong forecast for the next fiscal year is... Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Aubin time after the word for evening. And nostalgic. Might be a little cliched, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliches are cliches for a reason, after all. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. 
I wonder where Vita is now. I get the feeling she actually enjoyed doing Oven Time, but it's not like she could have ever kept going after all this. She's gone being a Phantom Thief, true. <laughs> huh? I wonder who that could be. Hello? Um, this is you, isn't it, Rain? Huh? Elise? Yes, it's me. It's weird that Rain doesn't have a voice here. Um, sorry for calling you like this so late in the evening. I'm not bothering you, am I? Oh, not at all. I'm just not used to you calling me. Are you calling from school? Yes. I wasn't going to, but Her Highness insisted. It'll take some getting used to, but it's nice to be able to hear your voice even when you're so far away. <laughs> I was pretty surprised when I heard your voice, too. You weren't really one for phone calls back at home, either. <laughs> I didn't have any specific reason for calling. It was just that the letter you sent about your return from Crossbell arrived today. Oh, that was fast. I only sent it a couple of days ago. I'm sorry if it even had to be a letter. I really was planning to go pay you a visit, but it didn't work out. Oh, please don't apologize. I know how busy you must be now. Believe me, I was just happy to hear you were back safe and sound. Your trip must have been exhausting. By the sound of things, you did an excellent job, too. I'm so proud of you, Reen. Thanks. I didn't do all that much, though, really. Half of what the Imperial Chronicle is reporting is massively overblown. <laughs> if you say so. <sighs> hmm? Is something wrong? No, not at all. Regardless, now that I've heard your voice, I feel a lot better. So I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your night now. Right. Night, Elise. I'll come and see you as soon as I can, okay? Oh, there's no need for that. Good night, Rain. Sweet dreams. Huh. She seems somehow... odd. Well, she's probably just nervous talking on the phone. It was kind of awkward for me when I started using one, too. Tomorrow's gonna be my final free day of the year. I guess I should go... I should do all my prep work for next week today so I can make the most of it. The final free day. <laughs> Ah, this song, man, I haven't heard this song in forever. <laughs> and there's our tasks. Student Council task for March. Ooh, we have a lot of them, actually. Interesting. Uh, angler management. Uh, my brother and I are having a fishing battle, but I'm gonna need your help to actually make it happen. So if you get the time, we'll be at the fishing spot in Trista. You're goddamn right I'll be there! Sadly, I'll have to be for next time, though. <laughs> Shit, but good to know. Uh, let's talk Trista. I was planning on starting a brand new show here at Radio Trista, but I'm gonna need your help to get the first broadcast just right. If you got time, uh, to make radio history, make me at radio, our Trista radio station, Michael. Junk wanted. A bunch of students are helping us put on a flea market, but we wouldn't, uh, we haven't gotten as much to sell on our stall as we'd like. Mind re re remedying that? Stop by my store and I'll give you the pr uh, pr particulars. Please and thank you, Brandon. Class warfare. Ladies and gentlemen of class seven, it's time to finally sell which of our classes is superior. Come to the academy field, fully equipped and prepared to for defeat. Oh, he wants to fight. Fucking Patrick wants to fight again. All right, and a race to end all races. Uh, you've been getting pretty good at riding my old bike. Good enough to pique my curiosity. I want to settle once and for all, uh, which of us is is the better rider? And there's only one way to do that. If you're up for the challenge, come find me in the engineering building, Angelica. 
All right. All right, people, let's do this one last time. Yep. One last time doing tasks. There's one from the radio station. A request for help with the flea market. Uh, these all seem worth doing and pretty fitting for the last free day of the year, too. It's only about 9 in the morning, so I've got plenty of time to work through everything. Let's get to work. Is there a hidden one, too? I'll look, actually. Uh, about reporting quests. Uh, to, re to report quests, speak to Toa in the Student Union building directly. Uh, by selecting Report re Progress, you can receive rewards by any requests done. Complete. Oh, interesting. So I have to go actually talk to, to Toa, too, to actually um, hand them in this time, too. That's interesting. Uh, let me see real quick. Is there a... Is there one? Let's see. There is a hidden one, actually. Yes, there sure is. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely do that, but... I think this is where we'll probably be stopping for today, I think, because, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think next stream, for sure, for sure, for sure, we probably will be done the game, I think, so. We are coming down to the end of this game, chat. It is almost, <laughs> almost done. It's been a long journey. Uh, four, 14 streams will probably be the number, the lucky number that we need to end the game, I think, so we are coming down to the wires. Next stream will be the finale night of the game, so should be fun. Um, yeah, a lot was done today. We finished the, basically the main story. The main story is done. We completed the first epilogue, which we got to play as the protagonist of Trails of the, Trails of, Trails of Zero, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and that was pretty neat. And now we are here in the second and final epilogue in the game, which we're back being a student here at Thor's Academy, just like old times again, which is pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, just to showcase everyone where we're at. So yeah, we're at level 132 at the moment. This is what our moves look like at the moment with Reen. Uh, same stuff goes with Alicia. She's at level 132 as well. Elliot's at level 131. He's basically about to level up here, so that'll be pretty great. Uh, 132 for Laura, which is awesome. Uh, 113 for Machias. Uh, Emma's 132 as well. Uh, Yus is 108. V is 132, Guy's at 108, Millions at 132, and Sarah's at 111. So that's currently what the movesets all look like. Our links look like the following right here. So maybe we can slightly get a little bit more there with some of the characters because we probably are doing a dungeon and stuff like that. Uh, maybe we'll see. Uh, this is what our links look like the following here. Uh, Alicia's looks like this. Uh, uh, Elliot's looks like that. Laura's looks like that. Machias's looks like that. Uh, Emma's looks like that. Yusuf's looks like that. Fee looks like that. Gaius looks like that. Milium looks like that. And, uh, Sarah looks like that. So, that's currently what it looks like. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. So, we'll start off the next cast, uh, doing these quests. And then it's basically the last half thing of the game basically which is basically gonna be story heavy so that's basically that so yeah so how do you feel being the son of vader honestly i did not see that coming at all well i had a feeling that him and osborne had had something like a connection because of that one cutscene that kind of trait uh, that uh is foreshadowed back in the first game um but i didn't think they would be like blood related at all like they were like family or anything like that so that's crazy Obviously, they mentioned that Reen was always adopted and stuff like that, but they were never saying who it was, so it is very, very wild. So, um, it's interesting. I don't know. Like, yeah, he, he's on the bad side, but he doesn't seem like he's still, like, a bad, bad, bad guy at all. It's, it's weird. It, it's kind of hard to say. He's just working for, sadly, the enemy for some tasks and stuff like that, but... As he mentions, though, he's like, he's only going to do stuff that he feels comfortable doing, so he's not doing everything that they want him to do, so. I don't know, it, it's, it's weird. It's very weird. I don't know. I, I feel like this is how, it's like, he'll eventually, like, turn against them at some point, and then he makes, his, like, his own, like, thing and and whatever, and then that, that everyone just follows him on suit with that, so, yeah. I don't know, it's, uh... Yeah, it's just, a lot of, a lot of twists and turns definitely happen in this game, for sure, so... Yeah, um, we'll see how this game sets up for, like, the third game and other stuff, so, yeah. Um, very interesting to see where that, where it goes and concludes, basically, so, yeah. Can't believe it's almost over already, but, yeah. Uh, definitely not as long as the first game, uh, but we are almost, like, a stream, uh, left for it. Like, we have, it took 15 streams for the first game, so this is, uh, the, four, we'll, this whole game will probably take 14 streams for sure, so, yeah. But it's been pretty good, and look at that, we're back at Thor's Academy. Look at that. That's nostalgic right there. Pretty cool. 
Um, so yeah, so that's what's gonna happen next time for this game. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2, it will be the finale night of the game most likely, because I think we can knock the, all these out in like um, a stream for sure. So this, we can, there's only like a few tasks to go through and such, and those will take pretty quickly to do, and then it's just like a final dungeon and stuff like that and whatever, so um, yeah, so it's basically that, so it probably won't take too long to go through all that, so yeah. Um, yeah, so that'll be next time for Let's Play uh, The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2 as we will conclude our adventure with Green Schwarzer as we end our time potentially here at Thor's Academy, unless maybe the next game makes us stay there one more time, but we'll see what happens with that whenever I get to that, but it will be a little while maybe, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see about that. That'll be the next time on Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. Yes, yes. So, yeah, guys, all on with that. That is going to wrap it up for today, everyone. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for coming by today for more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Yeah, well, uh, it was a pretty heavy story stream today. So, um, and the story will probably be con con concluding next stream. So, definitely look forward to that as we uh, finish up the game and uh, move on to new adventures next stream for... After this, after the next stream's uh, night for this game, so yeah, so look forward to that. Next stream is finale night for Trails of Cold Steel 2, so look forward to it. So that'll be next Saturday. It'll be starting at 7 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Mountain, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. So yeah, I hope to see you guys all be there for that. So yeah, we'll definitely be announcing our next game for Slot Two Nights after the conclusion of it. So look forward to that. So yeah, um, but yeah, next stream, everybody. We will be back here tomorrow night for our weekly edition of Mario Kart Sundays, where we play Mario Kart Deluxe with you, the viewers like you. We'll be here with week 249 of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So if you have the game, come on by as we play Mario Kart Deluxe with you, the viewers like you. Uh, Let's Play Nights on January 23rd. We'll be here with Day 6 of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. That's right. So... Uh, we'll be finishing that game up on Monday, so the Monday will be the finale night of that because we only have a little bit left to go with that game, so look forward to the final night of Pokemon on Monday night. Uh, late Night Beatdown's happening this Thursday, January 26th with Dead by Daylight, and the game that you guys vote for through the viewers' choice poll, so make sure to vote for the poll when that goes up later on during the week. And then Let's Play Nights on Friday, January 27th, we'll be starting up our next game, which will be announced after the conclusion of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on Monday, so look forward to that. And then uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2 will be continuing on Saturday, January 28th. And we'll be finishing up the game on that stream there. So definitely look forward to the finale night of the game on that stream then. So yeah. And that is what's coming up here next couple of days here on the channel. All starting at their schedule. Start times is here on the screen. So we'll see then for that. Uh, if anything does change, I'll let me know on my so social media and Discord. And check my full schedule here on Twitch. Uh, you can check that out over at thegamingbeatdown.weebly.com slash schedule. In case you want to do custom matches. I probably might do that. It's probably just most likely just going to be custom matches. I'm not going to do anything like uh, um, rank or anything like that. Just most likely just going to be um, custom matches. So, yeah. That's probably what I'll most likely do. Because I think it'd be more fun just playing with people that I know. So, Plus, it'll allow me to get a chance to learn how to play it, too. So, that might be the best way. So, yeah. And uh, also, thank you, uh, Ren, for the gift there. I saw... Uh, I got my e number nine on Steam. Thank you very much for that. I'll make sure to uh, accept that right after I end here. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so before we end things, everybody, we're just going to quickly play us out here with some tunes. Let me get my closing out music real quickly here. Uh, where's my closing out music? Right now. There it is. Perfect. All right, guys. So on that note, that is going to wrap it up for today. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming by for more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Hope you guys enjoy it. Holy mother of God. The the last half of the the finale chapter was nuts, I will say. And we started some epilogue. And now we're on the final chapter, our final epilogue in the game. And uh, just a few more days left to go in the game. And we'll probably be finishing it next Saturday. So look forward to that. Next week will be the finale night of the game. So look forward to that. Should be exciting to see how this game concludes. So, yeah. Uh, but we'll be back tomorrow night for Mario Kart Sundays, where we play Mario Kart Deluxe with you, the viewers like you. So if you have that, come on by. It should be a fun time, as always. So hope to see you guys then for that. Should be a good one. So yeah, um, if you're new and you enjoyed tonight, make sure to follow the channel by clicking the follow button found up above, down below, wherever it may be for you. And if you'd like to stay up to date live here on Twitch, you can follow me on social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Steam, Discord, 
or even my website over at thegamingbeatdown.weebly.com. And if you watch my past broadcast, I have a secondary YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash tgbdarchives. This is why I upload all my past streams in their full glory. So if you miss a stream or want to catch up my past broadcast in your own time, that's a place you can check out over at youtube.com slash tgbdarchives. And if you watch this on YouTube, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy day number 13 of Trails of Cold Steel 2, and also make sure to subscribe to get more Night Pass broadcasts and playthroughs, and also follow the Twitch channel, which you find in the description and down below, so watch the live streams live before they get uploaded to YouTube. And last but not least, um, if you'd like to support my channel through the donation, there's ways you can. First, use through my PayPal donation box. This, of course, is for the channels, games, catchphrases, consoles, equipment, and other good stuff. Another way is through my Design by Human store. We can purchase yourself a freaking amazing uh, give you down t shirt and our TGB swag or zombiehumans.com slash shop slash the gaming beatdown. And also, if I donate physically or digitally, I also have an Amazon Steam wish list, which has links to provide down below. But if you also like to support my channel, being a subscriber is 100% optional to be a sub on my channel. And by being a sub, you get benefits such as emotes to my channel and all around on Twitch. And so, sub badge my name, and the more you resub, the better badge when you become. You do get benefits in my Discord server channel once a month at the end of my channel and much, much more. You can use your $4.99, $9.99, $24.99, or even Twitch Prime. But as I said, the past subscribing is always an option to do. So if, it, if you'd like to support my channel and all that stuff, feel free to sub. But you would never, ever have to. You being here always helps the most, too. Uh, just keeping the chat active and all that helps the most out of anything. And if it's any bits and cheers, you can find more information in the description down, down below. Along with the sub button box, links in the PayPal donation box, the Zambi Human Store, the Amazon, and Steam Wishlist. So if you're feeling generous, those are the ways you can contribute to George's channel to make it even more freaking amazing. All right, so before we end, I'm just going to go find a raid here. And I see Noob Guy's live right now. Um, he's playing golf with your friends, but I think he might be doing a stream thing at the moment before uh, he continues playing that. So, yeah, I will give, give him a raid. I haven't raided him in a little in a hot while, so we'll do that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you guys can come by for a raid with me, that'd be awesome if you guys can do that. All you gotta do is copy the raid messages that you see here in the chat. If you're a subscriber, copy the subscriber message. If you're not, copy the non-sub message and just paste it in his channel and just let him know I'm sending you guys over to his stream and that'd be very much appreciated if you guys can do it for me before you head out for today. But, uh, yeah, on that note, that will do it for me, guys. So, yeah, guys, thanks for coming by again for more Trails of Cold Steel 2. A reminder, next week will be day 14. And we will be finishing the game on that stream, so definitely look forward to that. Um, might take slightly a little bit longer than six hours, maybe. I don't know. Maybe less. I don't know. I actually don't know how long it'll take, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, next week for sure will be the final night for the game, so definitely look forward to that. So we'll see how this game ends and whatnot. So yeah, um, which is cool because I can say I beat uh, both Trails of Cold Steel games, the first two at least. Uh, in under a year, which is pretty nice. So, because I think we started the the first game last March or February, I think it was. I can't remember exactly the top of my mind, but it was something around there. So, yeah. So we we'll be close to beating these to the first two games in this series, uh, in about a year. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. But we'll look forward to doing more new things after that too. So definitely look forward to that because we'll announce our next game for that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, but we'll be back tomorrow, guys. Uh, 7 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. And uh, we will be uh, playing Mario Kart Sundays. We're Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Just stay for Mario Kart Sundays, where we play Mario Kart Deluxe with you, the viewers like you. So hope to see you guys then for that. Should be a fun time as always. Yes, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it's like around there. I, I couldn't remember exactly the, the date on top of my mind, but yeah. Um, it was it was about almost a year ago, about a couple month or two ago. So yeah, which is awesome. So yeah. But yeah, hope to see you guys then for that. Should be good. Uh, but that being said, that'll be it for today, guys. So thank you guys for coming by today. I appreciate it. As always, thanks for all the follows, raids, hosts, bits, cheers, subs, resubs, donations. I do appreciate that. But most important, thanks for being here because that's what matters to me the most. So until next time, guys, uh, this has been Andy from The Gaming Beat Dancing Salon. And have yourselves a great night, guys. Bye-bye.